It's the Obi and Anthony Show. <laughs> now it's awkward because now Joe's in here. Hey, Joe. Joe, we're in the middle of listening to uh, Voss and Bonnie, My Wife Hates Me podcast, and Amen. we're in the middle of a pretty good blowout because uh, Rich oh. thinks Bonnie fucked John Stamos. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm part of this argument. You're part of this. Yeah, when he goes, uh, when yeah. she goes some comic. That's why you're in now. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah, all right. It's no, the second no. part of the fight about to start. Oh, yeah. Boy. So you know exactly what's going on here. Yeah, I've heard this. Okay, Bonnie has enough and walks out. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. What are you I, doing? This I is cook so for you. I clean for you. I fucking no. write all your dumb anything, correspondence for you, you know. Anything you well, need, I do. Stuff. To fight you <laughs> and <started>. what? <laughs> and what thanks do I get? Oh, you! I made a movie starring you. Okay. Oh, we what do I get? Oh, you fucked the editor. Oh, oh you. No, I, I never oh. said that one. Did you say oh, that too? No. Well, maybe once or twice. Uh, why would she fuck the editor? He's a good-looking guy. <laughs> did he? Did it? Was it a short fucking? <laughs> but everything was well placed. <laughs> you know, I think this ass fucking's going a little long. We should probably we're gonna cut down the foreplay a little bit. It's going a little I'd long. like to uh, cut away to your clit right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wow, you're insecure. Uh, I never said I wasn't. Now it's I've editors. had bad experiences in oh, life. Fuck. I, Starring I go, you, okay? Oh, we made do I get? You oh, made you the fucked the editor. Oh, oh you. No, I, I never said that once. And don't say you made the movie. We made the movie, okay? So don't act like you made the movie. And you brought this all up just to get yourself worked up. No, like I you're, didn't. You're not happy unless you're fighting. You're never happy unless... You are all what we sat who, down. Who, who it started off saying who who goes from what seeing somebody following someone on Twitter to you fuck them? Who does that? I you never do. said that once. You you know what you're saying. You're yelling. She hears I'm sitting right there. Oh my god. You're I never so bad. Sh I'm not even doing this anymore. Oh shit. shit. Go have your own fucking podcast. Are you are, are you serious? Wow. You know what that reminded me of for a little bit? Huh. Remember Creep Show where Adrian Barbeau was in it and, yeah. and, and, and the guy and she was just like, what would you do without me? You're a piece of shit. Yeah, and he was just like, yes, dear, yes, dear. Right. And he had the fantasy at the party that he just raised a gun <laughs> yeah. to her head yeah. and blew our fucking brains out. And everyone was like, good shot. Right? Yeah. Adrian Barbeau and Creep Show. Very good. Yeah. good what reference. the f Oh, what would you do without me? You're a baby, you fucking. Hal Holbrook, that was it. Yeah. I had a I had a similar fantasy while listening to that, but I was picturing Voss getting shot through the head. Oh, it was Voss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't he, know. That's why he thinks. Elijah Joe, did you break the lock? Bonnie I'm, is antagonizing you in that yeah. whole thing. Do you fuck think, what you said. Fuck. I'm being serious here. Bonnie's way over the top with this yes. thing. You and didn't deserve what you got. I didn't deserve it. You didn't deserve and the shit that Bonnie fucked gave him. you. I just said it's a coincidence. You guys, you guys are insane. Any no, guy no. would bring up, maybe you know, Why regardless you of how you brought yeah. it up, maybe you were, maybe you brought it up a little rough and stuff. But the fact of the matter is, you walk in and she was talking to John Stamos, and then she's following on Twitter. You would at least have the right to ask, like. Hey, what, you know, what's what's but, going on? But yeah. Rich thinks she's fucking everyone, so she's Not finally everyone. had it, right, Joe? I'm with Opie 100% on this. Like, uh, this is way yeah, more than the, the John Stamos thing. The calls. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is way more than the John Stamos incident. She Don't took it right to 10. That? She Don't, took wait, it right to 10, It though. sounds like yeah. every Taking guy she even looks at or talks to, she's fucking in Rich's mind. And that's every day, right? Yes. Oh, boy. Can I speak as being a partial... Uh, component in this oh, argument. Oh, yeah. wow. Did you listen to the part where she's like, "Our friend asked me to go on the road with him, and you accused him of wanting to fuck me." Did no, you I play that part? Are you the no, friend? Yeah, it up. was me. Oh, I, man. It's so in the beginning. Think, it's she fucked Joe too. No, no, it's no. Before the fight in the pot, before it gets to that point, she says to him, she goes, our friend asked me to go on the road with him, and you called him and said, stop trying to fuck my wife. And I'm, oh, I'm literally... Man. Did he actually do yeah, that? Yeah, and I'm literally oh, listening to it going, are Rich and Bonnie wow. fighting about me right now? No, what the off. fuck? Uh, did you actually call Joe to Rosa? Sit down and yeah. quit trying to do your act and be mad. No one's buying it. Here's what happened. <laughs> You're nuts, right? Here's what, here's what You're happened. You're fucking nuts. Here's, here's what happened. Yeah. Joe calls me, he goes... 
Do you think Bonnie would want to open it? And I know she didn't want it for the money. And it, kissing the baby, it's a hassle. Yeah. And he goes, well, see if you can find out. I go, and jokingly, I go, you want to fuck her, don't you? That's all. I didn't say. All I didn't right. accuse. I go, uh, but then how did it get brought up? Uh, yeah, how, how much of that's joking and how much is that real? If you only There's said that, then it's a joke. I don't think Joe does. Because but it's probably 90% joking, 10%. In, what's that? 90% joking, 10%. Well, then no, how did Bonnie find that, out? That one is uh, joking. But I think, cause I think he, you know, he's in this business hanging on by a thread. And even though things aren't going as well for me as they were, he wouldn't want to cross me because, you know, I could, you know, I, I got a little power. You could so, throw down <laughs> still. Rich could, could throw down. I, I could call Billy and tell Billy to cut him out of the next movie <laughs> or, or whatever. So, <laughs> listen, but dude, listen. But, I mean, it's funny what you're but, saying. But, 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 but here's the thing. Didn't you funny. direct that okay. one? Yes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Didn't I direct that? That movie that we put you in, <laughs> you fucking nothing. First of all, you didn't put me in it. You didn't put me in fucking it. Fucking bit part. Listen, we had to let you improv listen, your listen, lines because you couldn't all, remember the script listen, lines. First of all, first of all, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> red eye Shut that you up. didn't pay. Okay. Second of all, not only did I do it, I had to pay a babysitter, cab, and food. You low budget cocksuckers. I did you a favor because low budget cocksuckers. Did, it's a ten minute film. Yeah. You didn't even it's buy supposed the to be. Lunch. Low budget. Yes, okay. we did. Not for me. Yes, we for did. Next, you bought it for Colin because you thought he could help you. You we didn't buy it for me. We okay. had food you it for every Hobie day. He wasn't even in the movie. I'll tell you, I'll tell you we bought Bonnie lunch. We bought ah, Bonnie a lot of food. And that's oh, shit. Bonnie, Bonnie was great Bonnie, in the movie. even though he was the director, Bonnie was, Bonnie was going to him, why are you movie. keep telling me what to do? You're not the director. <laughs> that's how shit. bad of a director you are. You didn't even have a clipboard. That's not how bad of a director. You didn't even have a clipboard. That's not how bad of a director I am. I'm not insecure where I walk around with a bullhorn and puffy pants oh, going. Oh, so you're saying Anthony's bullhorn. Here's my point. Here's my point. The, what you just said is so telling, Rich. We're what? fucking friends. Yes. If you, if I was married and you were hanging, and you asked my wife or your friend's mother, yeah. I would, and I was talking about this, I would go, I go, in a million fucking years, I know Voss would never do anything. But you, well, don't, you, you can't don't even say that. Me. Listen to me. You <laughs> no, can't even say no, that no, about me, your friend. You go, you go, Joe's got a little integrity, and I'm pretty sure he would. Oh, it's like, yeah. dude, that you're fucking. You here's think this thing, shit? Baby, here's the thing you don't understand because you're not, you're not a guy. Guys, <laughs> listen to me, and listen, and this is true, and it goes for everybody in the fucking room and oh, every guy. Sam? There's a, no. Here's the thing, and I not know Dr. Joe's Gay, a good friend because we wouldn't fucking send him. Mm. Here's the thing, I know, but every guy, there's something in them that says. All right, if just not like if you're stuck, say you're stuck with a girl, so a married lady, not my wife, uh -huh. but a married lady, right. you're stuck in an elevator, like or whatever. You and, have to fuck in the elevator. No, but when, I don't know if something. I can make it these four floors <laughs> yeah, without figuring yeah. this bitch. No, you know, <laughs> no, there's something. Oh, fire department! We're gonna be there in three minutes. <laughs> don't do anything. Uh, three minutes, we'll have the door open. You wanna fuck? We got three <laughs> minutes. No, Voss is about, Fox Fox is about to listen, say something that listen. I'm. Most guys think yes, but we're also able to just squash that shit way down. And okay, right. most guys will, but for some it, reason, right? with you, it's on the surface all the fucking time. Yeah. What are you talking? Well, I have. I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, yeah we, we all wouldn't... think shit like that, but yes. we're also able to push that person. shit He's down. Got a dick what are you kidding me? Anthony's girlfriend <laughs> yeah. walks in the room. I want to push Anthony in front of a bus. Yes. Because she's beautiful. She'd probably be okay. uh, happy for you to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So but that's what this is all about. Is he wants to fuck your girlfriend? That's what this is all about. Because I don't want to go to jail for statutory. Rape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, here's the thing. I know I could trust. I could trust. But, but part of you, part of you, does not trust Joe in that situation. Oh, I trust a I small do. percent. No, I do because Percentage. I had him stay at my house. Don't think I didn't sleep with one eye open, Say, but I had him stay. It's no. always yeah. constant with him. The brown it's, eye. It's, 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 you don't know my history with Back. women. You All right, don't listen. Know my let's, can we can we play the rest of this? Uh, you don't yeah. know my history. I just want to hear this. Bonnie talks about all the stuff he does for Rich. <laughs> we played this clip all the way through, right? <laughs> your, your ear speakers just came off. Oh, yeah. Whoa, there's something to laugh about. <laughs> it yeah. is. It's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, my hands. Right. See? See? Right, now go. you're smiling because you yeah, come up with it. Huh? The clip's, the clip's on. on. Jesus, Rich. God damn it, Rich. I'm trying stupid. to sell your fucking podcast. Yeah, right? How yeah. stupid are you? <laughs> You guys are so stupid. That fucking Andy Cap hot fries hat he's wearing <laughs> knocked the fucking headphones off of his yeah. head.
Thank you, I Anthony. Got uh, it. I do this for a living. I'm trying to sell you a fucking podcast. <laughs> Will you pay attention? <laughs> All right, go Stop ahead, man. Right, my fucking <laughs> holy shit, he's babbling. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the audio's good enough. Shut up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> right, let's, let's I'm start. actually trying to help you today. All right, let's, 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 All right, let's holy start again, fuck. Mother Teresa. What the fuck? Let's what are you talking more, about, let's Mother Teresa? More abusive Bonnie. <laughs> All right, Bonnie, Bonnie talks stars. about it all. Yes. All right, I'm going to play this clip again. And you're going to get up and walk away. You know uh, okay, this is where she walks away. Sure, okay. All right. Back on track, hopefully. And you're going to get up and walk away. You know why, Rich? No. Because you won't admit... You, you won't admit what you're really saying. Sit That's back down. Me. You're accusing me I of doing... You. What are you accusing me of? Go, dancing? Are you accusing me of dancing with John Stamos? Is that what you're accusing me of? Yes. Okay. I didn't dance with John Stamos. All right, then sit down. You can't quit on the second podcast. <laughs> then wait till we... You least... know what this, this podcast is called? What? My wife hates me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so sit down. There's something uh, I don't know what's there going on. There is not something wrong. Anybody who's accused of getting like anybody I'm who's constantly you. being accused of cheating, and then when they bring it up and really try to get to the heart of the matter, the other person's like, oh, "I didn't say that. I said maybe you guys were playing footsies. That's what I was saying. Footsies? That's what I was saying. Footsies? I thought maybe you guys did some like kind of weird pinky thing." That's all I'm saying. Uh -oh. It's like, Listen, just, it's no, yeah, first of all, you take everything to the extreme. Why would really? I take them? it to the extreme when my yes. husband accuses me I didn't of cheating accuse on you. him constantly. No, I haven't. <laughs> Everyone, no, no. Anyone who's ever listened to ONA knows that you do it. So no. don't act now like you're, oh, no, no, I never do. No, no. Anything I do, any guy, no. and you go like this. Oh, I bet you look. And then if I say, then I go, yes, yeah, stop doing it. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. No. But it's constant, okay? And it eats away. It's, it's like not a constant. Cancer. It's not. This Ooh, relationship needs an oncologist. That's what this relationship is. Oh, shit. Because it has got cancer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see? wow. See, now you're smiling because you come up with a joke. See, now you get what oh, I'm. Oh, man. That, I, I'm fighting for Bonnie because she's not here. Now you get it. Yeah. If it's constant like that, she's finally it's not she's yeah. finally had it. It's not constant. I I know of three. No, with girls, it's never. It, 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 they'll they say it's constant Bonnie's when it's like once every. In the world. Uh, she no, really is I've been with, I've been with girls that if I do something, and it's like once in a fucking blue moon, I'll hear like you always do this. So that it's like what well, I haven't oh. fucking done that in months. I I, I go yeah. months without. It. But she brings you know she logs everything in her head and. and I'm going to tell you, she's great. I'm not going to lie, but she exaggerates. She's out of her mind. Yeah. And she'll twist things. She'll turn it into, you know, she's kind of a drama uh, queen. I wish she was here. Now, uh, now, no. I, I I'll here. agree with that, but you, you, I'm not you perfect. did kind of accuse her. Kind of. I didn't accuse her. I said, what's going on? Why are you Yeah, following? what's going on? Oh, okay. You don't understand this. When I walked into the room and go, are you following John Stamos? Her eyes lit up like I caught her going into the cookie jar. No, okay. but that would be obvious. If she's no, going to be sneaky, she, she, it's, it's, but why it's a lot. Be sneaky? But why would she be like, oh, my God, you caught me. It's so easy to see if she's following John Stamos. Well, and That's this... not something that you you, you could hide easily but at she all. Was like, oh, it was, was kind of like, who got me. Has this, point, has this point been brought up already? If it has, I apologize. Did you? I mean, Rich, Rich it's fucking Rich, John Stamos. It's not a comic that lives in Jersey. It's a fucking celebrity that's never going to bang your wife. What, listen, you know what I mean? Like, what, are you kidding me? You never banged uh, a chubby before? Oh, shit. Oh, no, I'm not see, saying my wife's a not, wow. you know, no, 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 a throwaway. No, I didn't say my wife was. Wow. Rich's people, wife's a throwaway. No, a I'm throw saying people bang. will bang, you know. <laughs> But Rich, you, no, you that's not even you that's not what I'm saying. You a seventy-year-old lady, didn't you? No, six, sixty. Rich, let's not get carried away. <laughs> okay. the, uh, uh, no, but okay. here's the thing: in better shape than you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She had better abs than I did. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying Bonnie's not hot enough for John Stamos to bang. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, it's so never. You think my wife's hot. Yeah, she's fucking hot, Rich. Why do you think she's hot? I think she's hot. Everybody thinks Bonnie. Yeah. Bonnie's a hot girl, dude. But uh, that's not my point. Okay, go ahead. And she's funny. Would that's you she's relax? Funny. She's funny. She's hilarious. You don't think she's your funny. wife's hot? She's a fucking catch. I don't know, I don't know if she's you. good looking. She, the other night she looked good. Rich, could you dig What's this fucking hole any deeper for yourself <laughs> right now? <laughs> oh, my God. Listen to me. I'm not saying she's not hot enough for John Stamos to want to bang her. What I'm saying is it's never going to fucking happen. 
He lives in Hollywood. What do you think John Stamos is going to fly Bonnie into Hollywood? <laughs> the banger there. for the weekend. Uh, uh, you're not going to figure this out. She was no, there. she's th- following a celebrity. She's excited. She's a housewife. Joe, she's he, excited he, about this. He thinks this. it already happened. She was there. He thinks it already happened. Think it already happened. They met at the Laugh Factory. I was there, and he's asking a question. So you're married? You know, when stuff do you like think that. she banged him? Probably. I didn't say she banged him. No, when you, but I'm saying, what do you if she? If she banged him, when would that have happened? Let's just say. No, I don't. In some weird she, fantasy world. Where could it have possibly happened? It's, it's a very good question. <laughs> huh? Where did Bonnie bang John Stamos? Probably in the ass. I don't oh. know. No, I mean oh. where? It was, as I far as her know. schedule I, goes. I don't know. I left L.A. It, please, how? So long you is leave it? L.A. after they meet, so now you're like, holy fuck! No, she had a lot of opportunities. I didn't even think about John it until Stamos. I came home and saw, and saw the Twitter and thing. saw the Twitter and, and her being in shock. Do you ever you know, do you ever check her phone and never stuff like that? In my life, did I do that? No. Okay, okay. No. That means you have. No, I swear mm-hmm. to God, I haven't. All right. Mm-hmm. Because have you, you wanted to? No, I mean, it, listen. I, if you had yes, the perfect sir. opportunity to no, do it, I've would you? It. It's been laying. She's been know. asleep and it's been right next to me. All night. <laughs> that means he just stares at it like, my, <laughs> no. like a monolith. He's like, I don't, ah, I, gotta well, check you know that I don't check like any of that. Here's the thing. <clears throat> what I've come to the conclusion in life, and here's the thing: people, not my wife or anybody, are going to do what they do. You yeah. can't control people. You can only do what you can do and be be the best at what you can do. Yeah. I might say things, this and that, mm. but any of it is out of my control, mm. good or bad. Mm. Okay? So, you know what? Live and let live. I don't think she's doing it. I don't think she's doing it. But when you see these things as a guy and a little insecure from some of my past okay, history. Okay, see, I understand that. That's that part. Part. Right. Right. Sure. Most so guys can up. understand that part of it, but okay. like I said, you try but to she, you but do you don't push that down. What I bring, like I say, I might bring it up a couple of times, but she exaggerates and says I do it all the time. So yeah, yeah. there's a fine line when I admit, yeah, Rich. sometimes I'm a fucking idiot, Rich. but you can't say I'm a fucking idiot all the time. She exaggerates. She was, she was nagging This there, is what I know of, and most of these are from the radio show. Yeah, I'm, over I'm writing a, over a, over a seven year period. I'm writing. Okay, well, that's true. Over you put a them seven... all in one list. I'm writing. Like, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Then it's like the George oh, Bush man, montage. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Seven years. <laughs> seven George years. Bush montage. <laughs> uh, and, uh, all right. I got this just off the top of my head. I got five. Okay. I got five. Gosh, We're not knows. even trying. That one you that, don't want to no, mention. That one, listen, that, that one, one you don't want to mention. Whoa, whoa, the Let me tall say. guy. Okay, hold on. Joe DeRosa and the lock wait, guy. Wait, hold on, that's, hold on. That's, the that's second one. Five. No, first of all, first of all, the third one that I don't want to say it on the radio. I understand. Is, is all prefabbed. It's all. It's it's well, not. Well, then you're a better not, actor than I ever yes, gave you credit believe for. Believe you me. Trust me. Believe you should me. be getting some acting roles then. I'm telling you, he saw it. That was, and then you also don't believe that you're the 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 father of your own daughter. I never said that. So. You've never said that. We've had our just. Dis- we've we've talked uh, about that for oh hours boy. on our show. Uh, oh here's boy. the thing. Here's the thing. And, with and kids. You... Here's the thing, with kids. For if you have a child who I do love her, I play with, I love her. But if you have a kid from day one, everybody keeps going. Oh, she doesn't look like you at all. Everybody except you, okay? Who could be the uh, father? Uh, Rich, oh my, the father. Like, Rich, know. spit into the Holy microphone, shit. okay? <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Okay. Joe, well, you've seen his kid. Hold on, wait, yeah. say it looks funny. like fucking laughing. Rich Voss. Oh, I laughed at. <laughs> I know. Look, I'm a. I got a little bit of a Kathleen Madigan thing where I laugh <laughs> after my own bits. <laughs> no, I fuck you. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> uh, Jesus, I just made myself lightheaded. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of lightness. <laughs> Here's the thing. What are you uh, saying? I was saying. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, we, we, we got a break, by the way. Uh, oh, fuck. Listen, so you can't get too worried right here. We got to Not going to keep holiday, me, st- not gonna keep me here. Right. We keep got me here until fucking all hours. Why don't you try to figure out what you're saying? Okay, but all we I'm got, saying is. We got three more clips from your podcast. I think people should. I'm okay. serious. They should fucking listen to this thing. Okay, it's can, good. Okay, can people you are calling it a clod cast. A clod <laughs> cast. I like that. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, folks. And I'm serious. I've been dedicating and coming in here for 10 years. My CD comes out on iTunes today. I promise you, you'll fucking like it. 
Yes. Get it. It's seven dollars. It's fucking fine. I don't want your goddamn word, Rich. No Hell, I ever. want FDIC. <laughs> you can get any ONA fan. Margo, you can get any ONA fan that has seen me on stage and not one could say they ever seen me fail. Dude, no, really? we all know that. Listen, Everyone, uh, listen, uh, listen. That's because you never do new material. Oh, really? Oh, shit. I have three CDs. <laughs> I'm joking, Rich. That was a joke. Yeah, but that's Jesus. a joke. Listen years. to this. It's listen a joke. This. Rich Boss's new CDs on iTunes. Still empty inside uh yeah it's a guarantee you're gonna love it and also uh the podcast where do they go for that even though Riot, we're gonna play three more clips riotcast.com riotcast.com there's four episodes so far and i'm fucking hooked man <laughs> i am fucking hooked <laughs> stay there thank you serious xm this is the Obi and anthony show all right we're hanging with uh rich voss and joe DeRosa today and uh, I'm trying to sell uh, Rich's products. It's got a CD, still I empty inside that. on iTunes today, and uh, the podcast with his wife, which is called My Wife Hates Me. You want to hear another clip from the podcast? Please. Yeah. I think the fight's over at this point. The, 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 this fight. They fight on every fucking episode. I don't know if we fight I heard the, the, I heard the I heard the fourth episode is a really big fight, right? Yeah. I can't wait. Is that online yet? Yeah, it went on Monday. All right. I'm, I only listened to the first two so far. Uh, Rich calls Bob Kelly for tech support. Oh, no, God. That's, that's, no, that's on that's this podcast? Jesus. All right. No, it, it's highlights from, from number three because yeah, we ran out of stuff three. on number two there. Okay, oh, but number two. Uh, number two. Hold on. Let me finish enough. number two. Oh, yeah. She comes in after this big blowout fight and sits down. And she's happy and and like a psychopath. Her eyes are rolling she's around. She's like a psychopath. What's that? All right. No, yeah, but I'm just saying. Then she sits down and she well, might say the same about you. It. Yeah, I know I'm <laughs> fucked up, but she doesn't. But She'll, she doesn't know she's fucked up. I know oh, I'm okay. fucked up. I know I have damage. I'm not perfect. But <laughs> here's the thing: when she comes in and sits down and oh, dude, it, like nothing happened. Yeah. It, how do you deal with it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I've seen girls do that. <laughs> you know, it's fucking mm. crazy. Uh -huh. Opie's not been in that many relationships. Crazy He's been girls. in like three. Joe mm -hmm. doesn't know, but me and you do. We're players. <laughs> we know oh, from God. history. Players. Sam yeah. is too young. God. Oh, you know? yeah. A lot you of know. people want. Want me to ask you this, Rich? What? Mm -mm. Can you can you guys ask Voss where the thing is? And what is the thing? What is the thing? When you say here's the thing, and where is the thing? Sounds like he's in a David Mamet play. <laughs> the fucking thing. That, that anybody Mamet? No. All right. Why don't you well, take no, your intellect? No, no, right. If you start talking about mammoths, then we'll look. Now at I you. understand why you don't have a muscle <laughs> on your body. You did a lot of reading growing up. Well, you know, <laughs> he wrote Glen Gary, Glenn Ross. Oh, and I know that's great. That. Right. American right. Buffalo. I just Hoffa. saw Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Yeah, I saw the movie. I did. He wrote the movie. <laughs> but you read the book. No, it's a play, Opie. Oh. Yeah, it's a play. <laughs> it's a play. <laughs> American Buffalo is the Bobby Kelly story. <laughs> All right. God damn. That's a good one. <laughs> that fucking douchebag is in Aruba right now. Is he? Yeah. yeah. And I yeah, he's filling in for one of the islands. I, 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 I guarantee. I guarantee he's walking along the sand yeah. with a metal detector and fucking head speakers trying to find head some gold. Okay. There's headphones. I like head speakers or That's earbuds. The, not yeah, head what? speakers. What the fuck is a head? That's not my a new phone. <sighs> <laughs> all right, listen, here's a... All right, so then we give you a little taste of episode... Rich, she's a that's what we do. Liberal. What? I think she's a liberal. Who, uh, Carol King? Oh, is that Carol King? Yeah. No. That's Carol King. Is it? Oh, it is. Wow. wow she looks terrible. No, yeah. for her age. Yeah, I think well, she looks good. Like witchy but poo hair. when you're president and when you're hated by so many people mm -hmm. just because you're who you are, shut I think the that's fuck up! Big you Why fucking live cunt! Look, see, Northern two seconds we caught her up and forth between I, because he's hated and for who he and is. For no, he's hated because his you know fucking policies stink and they're horrible for this country. Oh, God, the excuse. The excuse. 
it's understood. You're not. God damn. I really enjoy watching Anthony scream like a fucking malicious psychopath as he eats turkey chili. I got turkey chili <laughs> flying out of my mouth. He's yeah. holding the turkey chili like it's a wine goblet. I, I want to, I want to go, shut the fuck up. I want the CVS blood pressure machine in here. Uh, we actually no, did once. I know. Remember? I want, it, I it want that fine. machine, though, where you just pop the quarters in. Can we get one of those? Can we steal one of those? I don't see why not. No, yeah, but let's why steal is one of those. everybody's so brainwashed? You know, here's the Can deal. you believe that? Here's he's hated when... because of, you know, oh, because he's a black guy, really? No. Carol King? No, and he, here's you. the oh, deal with people. <laughs> <laughs> more importantly, more importantly, <laughs> to stay on track, Stephen S. from uh, Show writes, uh, Good morning, Ope. I just tuned in. Does still empty inside refer to Voss's head? No. Oh, oh, Steve. Wow. Is that the guy with the sideburns that makes an yeah, appearance every now kind of looks like then? Elvis a little bit. Oh, yeah. okay. Got the Elvis thing happening with yeah. his sideburns. That's original. <laughs> I liked it. Stephen huh? S. I thought it was pretty good. he had hair. That's why you liked it. Stephen S. is a good writer. What does that mean? He's a good writer. He's a good writer. He's a good writer? Yeah, he's a good writer. Who's he writer. Writer. Who's he written for? Our show. For your message board? He's a good message board writer. That's two bombs in a row. I don't, yeah, I don't think. I, I don't <laughs> think he's a message board writer. We took over no, Japan so. like that. <laughs> I listen, here's more. Uh, another another taste of Voss and Bonnie. My wife hates me. Podcast. Hello. When the mic is blinking, that means it's not on. When it's not blinking, that means it is on, right? Are you me? No, I'm not kidding you. We forgot. Yeah, he's talking to Bob Kelly because. Uh, He's obsessed if it's actually recording. This happens I a lot on the podcast. Hey, both of us. <laughs> what do you got? Two cans and a string? <laughs> oh, there we go. What? No, no, we're just asking. We want to make sure we don't want to take. You were the one who told us to do this podcast, okay? So if you didn't think this was going to happen when you were talking to Rich Voss, then you don't know Rich Voss. Okay, you can't take you're, us. You can't take us on. You're, you're supposed to be the tech guy, though. Who, I, Rich? Uh, I'm not yeah. good. Oh, I think it's working because every time he yells, it goes up. Delane, hey. You said that you knew you were the tech guy. Bonnie wasn't the tech person. Okay, well, listen, we think it's working, so we're just going to have to cut you loose. I think it's working. I'm not, wait a minute. I'm not on your, you're not, I'm not on your podcast right now, am I? We don't know how it gets edited. We don't know. Yes, we just send it. We don't know what happens. We only, once it leaves our house, it can just, it dangles in the we air. We never People listen grab. to it. If, if I listen to it. You can't just call me on the phone while you're doing your podcast without telling me. You're doing a fucking podcast. First of all, don't act like this is some major radio show. Hey, you're on the air. Second of all, okay, we weren't sure we were doing because we didn't know if it was recording. Can I just say something, Bobby Kelly? You told us, like, oh, your podcast is doing so well. I got five new followers on Twitter. It's bullshit. And they're O and A fans, so that's really only two and a half followers. I didn't say people liked you, Bobby. Oh. I said the podcast was doing well. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so funny. Man. Isn't it cute, Aunt? The, the evolution of a little radio show. It really is adorable. Aww. I gotta She's give so it to funny, him. Man. Aww. I gotta give it to him. You don't put that out live, though, huh? You record it and then send it out? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll do it live? Well, uh, I don't know. Eventually, you guys should go live. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hangs up on Bobby. DeRosa text, yes. text uh, Rich here, and Voss praises himself. I've been talking to myself at least five different times a day, literally repeating head speakers. <laughs> head speakers has been free. Put your head speakers on. Yeah. I, I hung up on him. Here's the deal. <laughs> He, we say who makes fun of us, right? Yes. He I make fun of you. We, we don't let Bobby Kelly make fun yeah, of us. He, he's lucky that we would call him in the middle of the night to let us know if our <laughs> microphone is yeah, on. He's lucky. There was like at least another person we could have called. Who? I don't know a lot of people that have a microphone at like least this. least maybe would have known. What has a microphone like this? Okay, here's what's... Why, uh, oh, DeRosa texts me. Head speakers. What, what's this? Everybody saying head speakers. What's the big yeah. deal? Because they're loving that you're. You know what it is? Like, people kind of think, oh, it's a character. But then you just keep doing it. You keep doing these dumb things and saying these dumb things. And then they get a kick out of it because it reinforces it's not. It's, that is really who he is. I fucking He's dumb. Killed on stage this <laughs> I'm like at the top of my game on stage. 
I'm a comedian. I get on fucking stage. Let me tell you something. I did an hour and 20. While you're doing this part, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay? Uh, no, you can't no, go no, to the bathroom. You're talking about how well you do. I did already. Right. Well, but see, just people always just. Just talk about how great you are. Just talk about how great you are. Pretend you can't just go to the bathroom. Pretend we're on our first date. Remember when you talked about how great you are? Oh. <laughs> Where'd you guys go on your first date? A pizza parlor. <laughs> really? A pizza parlor. Wait, on your first date, you were telling her how great you were? It's a parlor. She was asking me about me. Wow. I was it's in the highlight bear. of my career. <laughs> Idiot. Parlor <laughs> bear. Yeah, she's got insecurities, too, though. Huh? She's, she's got insecurities, too. Why? I'm not saying why. Well, because I'm saying that I do well on stage, and she fucking maybe didn't. Did not did, doing the taping. Maybe she had a bad set. But no, at this point, you should set. understand. You just do well on stage. You don't have to keep telling people. You really have right. to keep her down with her comedy. I think more so even than her than comedy's them. great though. You can't. Oh yeah. You, oh, but yeah. you're always saying how much better you are. Well, I'm, we're different. He, she's a great writer. Believe you me, she could write a fucking treatment, a, anything. The thing is. She doesn't know people like I like we did a gig last week. It was a small thing. She doesn't know how to read people She's a little like naive. I, well, like she can't go up there. Okay, if you're gonna trash you, the host for giving you a bad intro, you do it when you get on stage. You don't do it from the side of the stage because they already like the host. So she's yelling at him, and they're going, "Who's this fucking bitch?" You know. Oh. So you got to go up there, establish who you are, and then trash the who the fuck. You know what I mean? So there's teaching her a little something. We were doing a show in, in Miami, and there's a guy in the front row, and she keeps calling him gay, homo, this and that. You know, and it's funny, this and that, but she's really fucking. And, and, Did you and her come, fucking Don Johnson right. while you were down there? So, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, what other 80s stars is Bonnie banging? <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, Norman Fell. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you with Norman Fell. <laughs> so, I saw you with the guy that played Phil Drummond. I saw it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, I come out on stage and I go, who's the gay guy? This, mm. And the guy, and it's this guy in the front row. And he has LK tattooed on his fucking hand. You know, he's a Latin king. Oh. Okay. You know, he has spider webs on his elbows, which means he did time. So she doesn't really know. She's not from that type of life where she knows oh, people. Boy. She's a great comic, but she doesn't know the, uh, the psychology of people like I do. I'm, I'm, I'm like a psychologist besides a profiler. Cause oh, I've yeah, been a profiler and a psychologist. Yeah, I am. You can besides, ask me any, any besides question. the stupidity, I'm like a psychologist. You can, like ask, a me psychologist. Any, you can ask me any question about the hum human behavior, and I could probably answer it. Yeah. Okay. Why yeah. do you think the way you do? <laughs> <laughs> because of, because of my, my, my childhood and my upbringing. Oh, you no, can, it brings right. it all and, back to reality. So it makes us all yeah. feel bad. No, uh, give don't. No, just give him a hug. Oh, Rich hates me. Don't look at Rich hates me. Just give him a hug. Sam, like, give him a hug back. Oh, give him a hug. Oh, hey, it's it's like a jellyfish grabbing me. All right, here, here's the last track from the podcast. I was actually trying to see if I could get you angry to show the people, the four people listening. Yeah. How... Volatile, you really are. Do I have to explain what that word means to you? Or you know that word? Volatile means. Vol uh, what? Volatile means. Volatile means. Volatile. Volatile means. I'm volatile. Disgusting, mean. I don't know what volatile means. I'll be honest with you. I don't. But volatile. 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 I messed up. Easy to ire. Oh, aren't you the fucking professor? <laughs> it's going to piss you off. Oh, it's the machine oh, for big. Like, you think you really want to have some tea and biscuits along with this fucking podcast? Okay, Princess listen. Bonnie? Wow. Uh, Princess Bonnie. <laughs> Princess body because she knew a second grade level word like fucking volatile. volatile. You called her a princess for that? Oh, she said ire too. Huh? She said ire. <laughs> oh, you're right. That is cunty. It is. I don't like that. <laughs> What's ire mean? I don't know what that means. It's so funny. As soon as club owners don't do with you if you add an F in front of it. I mean, H. Hey, hey, hey. uh, stupid. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. You totally made it the opposite of what it was supposed to be. God damn it, Rich. That was going to be a good one. You ruined it. Damn it. You got too excited. You are such a volator. Oh, oh, I'm an ire. <laughs> You're an ire. What does ire mean? Huh? What does ire mean? I don't fucking know. You don't think she had sex with Tom Wolpat, do you? Who's that? Oh, oh shit. Boy.
That's the other guy from the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> oh boy. Or un Uncle Jesse. You know. Why don't you talk about how John, how <laughs> Uncle John Jesse, Stavis. the guy that did Cat Scratch Fever? Why hey, Bonnie, about... Bonnie, bend over to sink. John... <laughs> Why don't you talk about well, how them John... Duke boys were making oh, pretty short work of her ass. When... <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> John, you talk about how John Stamus stole your girlfriend. I, 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 oh, she... I talked about this on the air many times. Oh, you did? When I used to live in Rochester, I was going out with this girl that might have liked. Uh, Oh. <laughs> you and, blowing your nose instead of picking and, uh, it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she went to New York and she hooked up with John Stamos. And she was your girlfriend? That was the end of our, well, yeah, like a summer fling. Was she hot? Yeah, she was really hot. Didn't that break your heart? Um, yeah, it hurt a little bit. My mom met John Stamos in Disney and got a picture with him. It was all like, How do you know that's sure? all that sure that's John all that Stamos happened? is all over the place. Are you sure that's all I that know. happened? I don't but know. That's the that's... More power to mom if no. you fuck John she, Stamos. <laughs> she went to New York for a weekend or whatever, and uh -huh. she ended up hooking up with him, and that was it for me, man. And then I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know what ended up happening. John Stamos does not get that picture. He was blacky at the time in a soap opera. It was before he General became... Hospital. Was it General Hospital? Oh, oh yeah, those, shit. Those are the years I watched, my friend. Yeah, so it was before he when became he had the John band. fucking Stamos. But, I but mean, he was on his way. I mean, how, how retarded good-looking must oh. have that guy been when he was on the... Before... I mean, he was a fucking stallion on Full House. I can't imagine what it, he looked like when he was 21. When he was in General Hospital, it was uh, okay. pretty much the... Definitive uh, soap opera heartthrob. And all those magazines. Right. He was the cover guy for all of them. And before I get sued by uh, everyone, I, I just assume they had to have hooked up. Oh, yeah? Pretty obvious to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know for sure. sure. I don't know for sure. I mean, but I got to say, looking at these pictures of John Stamos, Rich, I see the physical similarities between the two of you. I don't <laughs> think you have anything to worry about here. <laughs> is, that, is that the Blackie years? Uh, probably, uh, yeah. Of course yeah. you blew me off. Of course. She could fuck that of guy. Of course. Yeah, dude. He, she looks like... Why he has a horrible body. Or Spuds Buckley. Mm. <laughs> Spuds Buckley came out. He looks like Rick oh, Perry yeah. without the Jewiness. That matters, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a description. <laughs> wow. Look at him. Look at that, that fucking guy now is still... Jesus yeah, Christ, head. dude. What happened? Look at that right? guy. All right, relax, Look Joe. at him. Huh? Look, at, look relax, at him now. Joe. Look Bastards. at him right there. I'm excited. I, I see it. I'm, excited. I'm worked up. I'm hot and bothered even. <laughs> Uh, he's a fucking god damn I'm jealous of that fuck. God damn. Oh, That's what he looks You're like. Jealous of the now? elephant man. Oh, oh, really? oh see, because... the elephant man. Yeah. I know. Well, that was look, that what I come up just, with. Just because you talk like him, you don't got to bring him up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> look at Stamos. God damn it. Look at that fucking. Oh, gruff. That's yeah. a good looking man. You hate that? It is. You know what, Rich? I take back everything I said. You really should be worried. <laughs> yeah, look at him. <laughs> look at this guy. He'll just hypnotize a girl in a fucking. I know. He's a ten. I'm gay. I mean, I'm not gay. But oh, what? <laughs> I'm, only... <laughs> oh, I'm gay. I mean, I'm not gay. <laughs> Rich. Oh, you holy know what? Shit. Well, I'd like what to see him get up on the stage. There. What's I like that? to see him get up on a stage and make people laugh. Yeah. Well, yeah. stop bringing up stuff Rich can't do either. <laughs> <laughs> I had one in my pocket, but that worked. <laughs> can't set up my own jokes. <laughs> oh, Rich. Bonnie loves I'm you, secure. and I don't I'm think she's oh, cheating. I don't care about that. I'm secure about There's me. There's a 98, oh, good 98 you, you percent just... chance she's not cheating on you. I'd say 98%. It has to be 100 in his mind, though. That's why I said 98. I know, I know. You just killed him. <laughs> Look at him right there. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Man, Look at that. Jesus on. Christ. How much fucking pussy did that see? Jesus Christ. That's Is he wearing a little half sweater? Jesus I'm God get bless one him. Of those Jesus, Jesus, out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just start dressing like John Stamos. Maybe that'll work for you. <laughs> uh, we, we do have to get to the bottom of something. Yes. Or the top of something, as yeah. it were. What do you got, buddy? You know where I'm going? What do you got, buddy? Well, someone came in to work today, right? Yeah. And uh, it's very chilly out. Agreed? Uh, yeah. But mm -hmm. it's not that cold in here. It's pretty oh, nice. So we yes. all take our respective jackets off and, and whatnot. And, um, well, one person is wearing his jacket, not only his jacket, but a thick wool cap that is pulled down to hide every bit of hair on his head. Right. This person 
E to the R. Sexy. Sexy. This is the kind of hat you would wear at Killington. Uh, now, anytime he's ever done this, look. it's because he has done something to his hair that he doesn't want anybody to see. Hey, and now, look, and he looks just Louis like C. Louis C.K. How did that happen? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Erod <laughs> has changed himself into Louis C.K., apparently. Hey, hello. Hi, Louis. We're just in the middle of Iraq uh, wearing that hat, he, he, and it only means that he did something fucked he, up to his hair. He's hiding something underneath oh. that hat. He's he still thinks he's at that age and where, and and stuff yeah. where he can like like where there's any qualitative difference between how he looks. Yeah, you know? yeah, like highlight his hair or something. Right. It's like no, nah, nah. Iraq, move uh, closer to the to the guys here. Move yeah, your whole. We want to what did you do to your hair? We don't you know, but you now? it's obvious. Yeah, we don't know what he did. He he, he, wasn't, he didn't even bring it up. Sam is the instigator that came in and went. Ah, oh, guys, just want to let you know. He has to take he his hat off. And Sam's like the little busybody. Right. He's got to be the little rat. All right, let's see what I don't know got. what else Sam could be doing besides this. Nah, nah, I know. <laughs> I, I know. He could be like a prison informant kind of a guy yeah, that winds up it. getting fucking killed. He could, he'd have made a good one of those trustees in the fucking uh, yeah. the ghetto Looking at over his... there. And, and, you know, what, actually, yeah. I, my sister works for a software company, and she says it's the whole place. No one's working. Everyone's just trying to fuck each other. Just <laughs> I mean, you know, like trying to get each other yeah, fired. Yeah. Get each other yeah. fired to, to move anybody's the... ever. There's barely any software going on at all. <laughs> I don't know. Did yeah. you see the Apple documentary? They did a documentary about Apple, but it was all ex-Apple employees, and they're mm -hmm. like, there's one guy, he's like, everybody thinks Apple's all cute with their quirky little commercials. Oh, he's no. like, it is the most cutthroat, fucking evil, worst oh, rotten yeah. place. Nice to be, to be that nice. Hold on, nice. calm down and let right. the headliners talk. Sam, <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam <laughs> also with yeah, his hair. Mike is coming in. He also... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, no, got me there. Uh, uh, right, right. You he did. Have he did. You. Don't that, quit but. fucking <laughs> teaming up with Joe, okay? All right, let's go. Uh, let's get this over because we got right, yeah, Louis C.K. in studio well, bit here. No, Explain. I, I haven't uh, done anything to my hair in many, many oh, years. God, this is gonna be body. really uncomfortable <laughs> for everybody. Did and, you say or his um, body? I thought yeah. That uh, you know, since it went over so well after my last vacation using oh, sun no. in, you used sun in so and highlight. Yeah, yeah, had yeah, had highlights in your hair. So I figured I'd go all in and oh, do a complete my God, change. No, no, oh my no. god! Oh, no, we're no. going to be so oh, uncomfortable. God. What is he doing? All right. Oh no! God. You want to take a guess? Oh, no. I, I want to see. I want to let the uh, pounds oh, people no. see this too. It, um, I pray it's at least blonde. I think he may have. He may have shaved it. What do you think? No, I it's think winter. He dyed it. it looks think... shaved because I don't see a lot of lumps. Yeah, a lot of lumps. <laughs> I think he fucking dyed it. I think he fucking went to see Billy Burr or something, dyed his hair red. Watch. It's going to be red. Let's hair. go. Let's get this over with. Yeah. I think it's, a sh it's something with a razor. Can we, wait, should we bet on this? No. Cut or color? Just, let's fucking see. Yeah, it. let's right. Is, it, right. is it a cut I'm and stretch color? Stretch this shit out. It's cut. <laughs> it might be <laughs> on the sort of sides more shaved. What is he, the 1980s? Like kid and play? Right. It's, it's got a, a lightning bolt, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Iraq. Right. Uh, yeah, let's un unveil this. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's oh, it's no. fat Richie Rich! No. Oh, my oh, he God. looks like. In Fargo, oh, the no. guy that fucking... Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's the guy in Fargo Jesus. that shot Buscemi we in the We go back. to Pancake's house. Oh, no. Jesus. <laughs> We I go like to pancakes, pancakes, you know. Oh you know, my god, yeah, like you know. Pancakes, you what know. was that product called? Come in, you fucking <laughs> queer. Oh, wow. Dude, that <laughs> is. What that's are you fucking doing, blondy man? blonde hair. That's, gay porn. that's like the dude that's from porn hair, right? That's the dude from Fight Club. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the dude from Fight that's Club. That's the dude from oh, Fight Club, god. man. Like gets... Vanilla Ice if he was stung by a hornet's nest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Hey, Roland, hey, not, what do you think? hey, not Slim Shady. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck did you do? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you're out. What did you do? What the fuck is wrong? Dennis the cunt. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. He looks oh, like Shane no. Reynolds uh, when Jesus. he played uh, yeah. in, in the playoffs. Roland, grab a mic. What do you yeah. think? That's bad. Oh, man. Roland's loving this. I'm sad. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, man. What, what are you doing? I, actually, wow. I'm not gonna, I well, think Jesus, it looks good. Hero. When I had it done, it was pure white. And then I, it, over the... Well, it's super not, not much better. Uh, it's not <laughs> much better. <laughs> <laughs> Someone goes, wow, Billy Idol got fat. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Well, I'm going to take a picture of oh. this. Oh, okay. <laughs>
This is what it used to look like five days ago. This is what it looked like. What do you mean five uh, days ago? Right? Where have we been? All right, it's whiter, but it, it looks the same. Off. It's uh, it's horrible. Man, <laughs> what did you do? Uh, that is really, really blonde. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what is part of a person's life? Does he do shit like that? You live alone, right? No, I'm married. You're, you're no. married? Uh, why, yeah. didn't you, why didn't you do your eyebrow so it matches okay, a little? Okay, I kind of get it. <laughs> what did you wear? <laughs> you married? Why not? Yeah, just uh, fuck it. Playing, no, but he's a, right, but it, fuck you on your forehead in the morning. It hasn't been 20 like years. You like just got married. That doesn't take long. That is really <laughs> bright. It's, it's gel really, already. It's a bright blonde, man. Oh. How old are you? Seriously. 33. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Louis is like, oh, God. I, uh, I, I kind of like it. Can we ask <laughs> why? I, I, I had talked for a while, and Sam knows this on, on his show, that, I've, that I wanted to recolor my hair again. I haven't done it in so many years, but this is going to be like a one and done. No. Yeah, you'll you'll do it again. Coloring it. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, once you know once is I, enough. I think I figured it out. Because you look at that. And it takes away from you looking at the rest of him. Like, <laughs> you think that's you, it? Yeah, it's it's diverting attention. Does the wife I don't remember like what it? he looked like before? Really, his hair really really, like really dark. Yeah. His hair was just just nothing, mousy. right? Just whatever. yeah. Oh no, that's his insides. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did your wife say? She uh, it, it took her a little while, but she, that she, means she, she hates it. it. Oh, like she it, likes yeah. it, but she has no choice. I went She's to her hairstylist and had it done. Yeah. I got to admit, you went too? to his hairstylist? Her, yes. Oh, man. You that's much worse. <laughs> this is like something you do in the sink because you're in a weird mood. If you actually went yeah. and <laughs> got foil in your hair and read a fucking glamour magazine. <laughs> the, Jesus. That's uh, a lot. Uh, the cotton uh, between uh, his that's toes. you wanted to be on the air. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, and he gets on the air a lot. That's yeah. the strange mm -hmm. part, man. Hey, Danny, you see this? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta admit, as I stare, it it, it like it it does kind of look better. I kind of yeah. Like the more I look at it, the more it, I'm like, yeah, it just looks like look one of those. If he was, uh, if you ask me, if he was, you. if he was wanted, and they did one of those, you know, var variety headshots, <laughs> <where> <laughs> yeah. different ways he might look. Yeah, yeah. Might, yeah. And you, you're too fucking blonde. <laughs> 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 that's a fight club. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Looks like the fight club kid. All right, well, you're right. Oh, yeah. It's Pony Boy. Well, uh, oh, 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 that's oh, hilarious. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, did, your friend, boy. did your friend die in a fire? <laughs> oh, stay it's, fat, Pony Boy. Stay <laughs> fat. <laughs> stay golden arches. <laughs> <laughs> I think Eric's sad. Uh, Eric's he's sad. He's a stable yeah. boy. Why is he sad? Uh, you, you can see it in his eyes. He's not smiling Jerry, a lot. He's yeah. standing at a fucking Jerry microphone and saying, yeah. please, <laughs> please shit all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Uh, it's like feeling bad for your toilet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I shit in you? That's, I should have shit in the sink. Uh, giving you a break oh for the day. Oh, my God. Are you sad, e Rock? Shit. No. It goes with his new nice, name, fine. Sexy. Sexy. He's taking this really seriously, the sexy mm. thing. You get your pubes done? Oh, no. no. Oh, God. No, boy. When you wear your hat like that, you look like Robin Williams and Popeye with the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the little blonde hair <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got fats. <laughs> <laughs> I loves me cream spinach. <laughs> <laughs> we, we could see. <laughs> All right, well, there's the big reveal. I think he mentioned he looks like a professional wrestler now. Yeah, yeah. he's going for the wrestling thing. Bulk Hogan, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still real to me. Well, you need to see is when he gets sweaty, if he works, if he exerts himself and the face turns red, that's what that's supposed to look like. Oh, yeah. The red yeah. face and the blonde, bleach blonde. That's the porn look. Yeah. Yeah, the, the money shot look. Yeah. Yeah. That does look porn <laughs> starish. Yeah. Did you think for two seconds that it might look a little gay? Oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This, go, yeah, this yeah. goes with a clean shaven cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this goes with. <laughs> and and uh, you know body like you spray on tan. Yeah. That yeah. would look good on the beach. People will walk by and go, look at that sand dune with blonde hair. <laughs> Okay, they're not uh, all good. I had four good ones. Uh, that was a little long, too. Four out of pretty five. Long, yeah. no no it's pretty lengthy. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was. <laughs> it was. Sand dune. I'm sorry. You're right. 
Maybe you're uh, laying on the beach and somebody walks by and goes, look at that cock and balls with blonde hair. Oh, oh. Uh, what would a beach yeah. have to do with that, yeah, Rich? Yeah. Enough so, about the beach. All right, I'm just <laughs> throwing them out, you know, whatever sticks. Yeah. I'm bad with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, we do have to take a break because we have, Louis, it, we have not holiday live reads. We're not going over this again, mm. but I guarantee what, what, what we did with the podcast, he would have been on my side. What well, happened? Uh, all right, we'll explain saying. next. No, no, we don't want to do we it can, next. Well, you no. brought it up, so now we have no. to. I'm just oh. he, He's curious, so we'll do uh, a short version of it next. All right? CD on iTunes. Pick yeah. it up today. I'm not fucking Louis around. C fuck you, LouisCK.com new special. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I talk saw $5. that. Yeah, I want to talk. We're going to talk shit. about that I next. I saw that okay, okay, beacon thing. Before people get to work. All right. Still empty inside. Actually Rich Foss's CD. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. We're going to talk to Louis C.K. next. The O.P. and Anthony Show. The O.P. and Anthony Show. Sirius XM. We got the gang in today. Uh, Rich Voss. His C CD is uh, still empty inside, available on iTunes. And his uh, My Wife Hates Me podcast, available at riotcast.com. Then we move on to Joe DeRosa, who's going to be at Caroline's, what, tomorrow, Joe? Yeah, tomorrow, Thursday, and Sunday of this week, I'm going to be there. Three shows. Please come out. It's my first time doing headline spots there. And I, you know, I hope the shows are good. I want and, them to be good. All the and, smashing we do, and, Joe is and, All right, yes. Rich. And uh, the promo. <laughs> That's why he got Thursday all right, and Rich. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be in here if he wasn't funny. <laughs> Let it be known, we only have funny guys on the show. So Thank you. Uh, the promo code, though, because the, the oh. listeners could save fucking money. O and A. Yeah, and it's spelled O-A-N-D-A. -A. If you give that promo code on the website or when you call, you get a discounted ticket. So uh, uh, come out, O and A fans. Let's a have a good time. A big discount, man. Yeah. You save like one. eight bucks on the ticket. Yeah. Ten dollars to see Joe DeRosa if you use that promo code. And then, of course, we move on to Louis C.K., who's setting the world on fire. With this fucking uh, live at the beacon thing, man. This is every comic is going to do this. It's doing pretty good, I think. It is, right? I'm not telling anybody how much I'm making. I, right, right. I want to know, so know, so know so bad. <laughs> Don't say it. Not a peep. You're, well, you're hiding it well with your clothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. Well, that's smart. That's how you do this. Keep the shit. money. No, I'm like one of those beggars that stands outside, and you know he's got a Mercedes. Oh somewhere. yeah, yeah. They just that's exactly what I'm doing. When, the news <laughs> follows him to their let me, uh, apartment. Let me, let me say this: When I you learned know. that Louis was doing this, I'm like, holy fuck! Every comic in America is going to do this. This well, is the this is brilliant. It's the way to do this. You know, to to move. Forward. Well, the special has to be good. Obviously. And, uh, well, that's and also, true. You have, I mean, I have a lot of skill sets that help me do this. I produced it and directed it myself. Right. I know how to put something like this together. Right. And the company that does my, that I have that does my show, I just had them, we just did. Accomplish too much at once. Right. They're like, don't just have them buy it. Tell them about 50 other things. Get right. their email address, all this, make them join, like, force all this shit down your throat. Yeah. And then they jack the price up. Right. So I made it five bucks, and you don't, like, every detail we went through with me and the website guy, like, where it says opt in to the email address, like, that gives you a choice. Do you want to get emails or not? Uh, yes is always pre-clicked for you, but we pre clicked no, and it oh. says it says no. Leave me alone forever, you fat idiot. That, <laughs> that's the choice. Yeah, that's good. And that's clicked. So you have yeah. to click yes. Oh, and very good. Most people do. Or you're not going to get like a... seventy percent of the people. Click uh, oh, that's pretty good. And I was yeah. reading it's an article on uh, you know you yeah you're telling people don't don't fucking steal this thing. Yeah. Also, the I, file I, I, the I video like... is easy to steal because it's nothing. Right. There's nothing on it. Right. It's like something I you know I just put it out of my computer and it, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. You're there's very no trusted. DRM on it. There's no anti piracy. There's no regional. You can get it in anywhere in the world. It's uh, it on a DVD. But why do you do it's that? the honor system. Why do you do that? Just to make it even easier? <laughs> to, to make get? it a better product. It's like, you know, if you what if, if you made like a nice, um, I don't know, product, like, uh, you know, a nice waffle iron, and mm -hmm. then you have a big lock on it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but don't use it. Right. Yeah, it's like the but, no bouncer at the bar mentality. But, they, but yeah. yeah, they know it's a nice no, place. No, I get it. But the <laughs> other side of that, and I want Louis to explain, yeah. is that people can now just steal it and fucking do all sorts they of shit They can, and uh, all I did was ask him not to. I, I know. Said, Please don't do that. Uh, yeah. I'm just a guy. Right. And it's and are, are they? Bucks. It's five dollars. I closed the, I closed the gap from stealing to honesty to be so small. 
But yes, are, are right. They, but are they listening to you and they're not stealing it, right? Uh, well, so far there is one guy that put it up on Torrent, and he's here's and I, I learned so much from this already. This guy put it up on Torrent, and he's getting hammered by people saying, like, some people are saying this has this has bad quality, like as a, and it's not true. Oh, so they're so just they're yeah. trying to stop him. So the people don't and he wrote it. this explanation saying, well, you know, hey, you got to understand. I'm really sorry. Like, I feel kind of bad for doing this. But, you know, if we don't have torrent, then we can't afford anything. And torrents help the artist. Oh, the funny thing, though, is that if it pains him at all, he's not stealing it. He's uh, making it available for stealing. Yeah. So if it pains him at all, why is it? Why does he do it? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. But the reason he's doing it is because he has a bunch of videos and stuff. He's got his own career. So he's trying to promote. He's using my thing as a magnet. That if Yeah, then people go to his him, thing and go to his thing and buy shit. his stuff. And I'm sure if somebody pirated his thing, he'd be like, hey, hey, what, 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 yeah. So that's actually the main. I'm learning that the one of the main reasons that people pirate stuff, like on YouTube, when people post stuff, like when it first went up, like 20, there were 20 videos on YouTube of it. And they were all coming from the same guy who's selling stuff. He's trying to draw right. people to his channel. So people mostly use, it's ve not, it's very few people that are just like, geez, I really can't afford it. Right. I got, I, I got mm -hmm. it. They're using it to market their own shit. That's right. Yeah. Most of the people that, um, Want, would have torrented it not do you torrent no do you, i don't know how to do it either. i got guys down the hall that just steal shit for me yeah <laughs> so there's... And, and you know what we said earlier lou yeah when when an artist wants fifty dollars for something like that mm -hmm. fuck it i'll steal it i'll be completely honest with you but right. when you're dropping the price to five bucks five bucks is as then low it's as like you know what i'm not going to steal for five bucks five okay. bucks for something that nobody has seen yet right like yeah. it's right. not a bargain bin right. at walmart it's, it's a, brand new it's stuff brand new yep but and you know when an artist is taking advantage or, uh, advantage of the consumer, and then mm -hmm. I, I swear to you, I'll be honest, I don't feel guilty when right. I when well, I get a free copy here and there. Well, it's He's, generally not the artist. It's the it's, it's well, these, uh, true. It's the, yeah. it's the corporation. This is why I was talking about this on Reddit. This thing that I only discovered it exists yesterday, and I was on it for like a day. Smut on that one. Too. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Reddit Reddit could get your shit to go viral though. Yes, They're but somebody powerful. was asking me about the piracy thing, and and um. Why it's okay when people feel like it's okay to steal? Uh, I read I read this thing that Noam Chomsky said, a very smart liberal asshole guy. I'm just saying asshole for your benefit. Thank you. Sorry, uh, I think he's a great guy. But uh, he said that uh, corporations are like um, superhuman. They're they're like because they never die. They're immortal, mm -hmm. and they can't be put in jail. Uh, they can't be murdered. They can't be hurt. Uh, they can't be held accountable. Uh, they can't, you know, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what they get when they make a corporation. But then the things they also have to deal mm -hmm. with is nobody has any sympathy for you. Right. Nobody <laughs> likes you. Nobody <laughs> trusts you. Uh, it's like nobody the board. feels em empathy. Like I should be mm -hmm. nice to this. It's a fucking corporation. So if you want to make something that infallible, it's also going to be, you know, some people are going to fuck you. I'm taking sure. Oh, fuck. Yeah. If I can sell a lot of CDs, I'll become a corporation. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> well, that's but to you... me also, I make enough. There's yeah. a level where I think that's enough money for me personally. I can make that decision. A corporation can't do that. They have. They. You literally, if you're the head of a company, you would go to jail for not. Are, fleecing the public are you, every penny that could Are you officially the first one to do this? You have to be. At this level, I yeah, think of I am. Course. As a comedian. And I didn't mean and, to downplay it earlier, because you're right. Uh -huh. I mean, you got to have you got to have a, a, a good act for this to work. Because a lot of guys are going to try what you're doing and right. they're going to fail Listen, miserably. the second I heard it, that my wife said, and she was reading, and Louie's doing this for $5. Right. I go, how can we do this with my CD for four? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where they just click a button. Yeah. And, and I go, and then I just said, fucking did but iTunes. But it's fucking brilliant because, I, I mean. Well, we it's are, also smart because you're not going to go to every market. So now these people get a, a nice chance to see a really good Louis C.K. show. Yeah. Holy and fuck. you can't, because this material isn't ever going to be, I only did it for two months right. to get it ready. <laughs> And then I dumped it. And now you So done this is it. the only way you can really see yeah, it. Exactly. Only people like in Raleigh, North Carolina, and North, wherever the hell I went, Richmond, right. Virginia, those people saw it live. Right. Yeah. And it's gone. Yeah. So it's fucking funny, man. I'm on to other I stuff. Ju I just saw I was at the taping. Uh, like it's two amazing. nights ago. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. That was a fun really show. Good. That's, I mean, I did it now because I, I thought I had the show to, to do it. Right. Um, but it is sort of like, as far as anyone can do it, it's like Steve Martin's bit where he goes, I'm going to teach you how to, ha how to get a million dollars and not pay taxes. <laughs> First, get a million dollars. Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah. That's what you do. Right. So you have to, you know, but everybody can do it on some level. 
Getting yeah. it shot, most comedians don't know how to completely, you know, ground up. I saved an mm. enormous amount by being able to do that myself. Yeah. And I still shot it on red cinematic cameras, and it still yeah, looks it looks great. great. Yeah, yeah. But you're gonna have guys just set up a dumb camera, you know, one shot. Sure, and do the exact same um, thing. They'll you know, get you know. in their basement. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's only five bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why yeah. play? It's only five. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's no, it's it's, it's no, it was shot like an HBO special, simple as that. Yeah. so it's, yeah. it's, it's how many great. cameras? Three, uh, six cameras. Holy, it's God. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only thing I've seen money. cameras in my whole life. Usually, <laughs> you need a whole truck and yeah. you need a director to switch between the cameras. Yeah. But because I know how to do this stuff. I, I just shot it on six different car the cameras shoot onto cards. Yeah. Dumped the cards onto my computer at home and then I edited it. Then you just yeah. fucking pull Brilliant. everything that's, up that's and put all it together me. and yeah. That that replaced that that literally saved me about a hundred thousand dollars. It would have been awkward Brilliant. you being on stage gone. Go to three. <laughs> right. But yes, Bring he's up the five. only ready to go take to five. Two. Take two. He yeah. would probably be able to pull that off. That's the scary part. <laughs> As he's doing yeah. his job. Louis yeah. Louis's the only literally and I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. You're the only guy <laughs> at your level in this business that's sort of Does showing. Everything? Well, yeah, and showing us the way that it can be done because everybody doing the kind of shit that Louie's doing right now is doing it. I'm not saying the special idea. I'm just saying the I'm going to be a one stop shop. It's all guys trying to work our way up and punch up to where you're at. And it's so fucking refreshing to see a guy at your level go. Fuck the labels, fuck the whatever. I'm gonna just do this myself. Well, it is oh, a better you know, road. It is a better know? road for you guys, for yeah. the young guys. Oh, it's mm -hmm. a better way to go. Yeah, that, that, nice that means because that... otherwise you're waiting for some fucking company yeah. to give you permission to have an audience, and they decide how you do it. They have the wrong instincts too. <laughs> like some people think, well, they're led by greed, so they make you do something really, uh, something really broad and uh, broad appeal. Well, were that they would. Like <laughs> if only these people were like at least. Uh, greedy and smart, but they just don't know. They don't right. understand right. what people want. And also, don't, let's not right. forget, don't know what fucking funny is especially. No, no. Yeah. And let's not forget, they're also going to edit your shit and take and out yeah, stuff and, and, and take out stuff you really want in there. Yes, well, you know it's, it's, six, You know it works. The six yep. cameras. Well, I don't understand because I didn't yeah. see it. My wife One more than five. Billy's, Billy's special, right? Uh -huh. And it was just him with no audience shots. <laughs> yeah. So you can do that. With, you don't need six cameras it's just to do you with no audience shots, right? No, you, well, you need the different angles to keep so, the thing so moving. So you have cutting off. I'm just asking. I don't know. Cameras. Cameras. Good. And Rich, also stop a trying to figure out how to do this cheaper Thank you. for the, yourself. Thank you. The Jew is trying to figure out how he can do it with two cameras. <laughs> By the way, you could go and get, if you get whatever, there's probably somewhere that you can fill a decent room twice. You need yeah. to do two. Of course. This yeah. is how you do it. Whatever <laughs> town not, yeah. you are the most popular in. Poughkeepsie. You stay. Sure. <laughs> on Wednesday. There, by the way, Saturday. there's a little there's know, a theater in Poughkeepsie that's beautiful yeah. old theater. There's a Tarrytown. There's an yeah, opera done, house. Yeah. Okay. So I you go to one of these towns. You stay away from it for a year while you develop yeah. the material. And then you book it for two shows. And you fill them up. Not with Comedy Central actually pays to have an audience there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, they're just morons that they pay. They're not to your be audience. Well, wait, wait, I've been wait. to a yeah. million of those and they're um, yeah. lining up because it's a free comedy show. It's like, you I've don't never get, seen yeah, any of these people in my life. Yeah. Set up yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me this. Tell him. You pay You pay, uh, <laughs> you pay for the, you, you use the ticket money. By the way, I, and the only thing I did to pay for this thing was tell the jokes. And, and I, you just Jeez. got me excited because I've been to so many of these Comedy Central tapings. And they don't give a fuck if it's Joe DeRosa's audience. They're looking for people that just look good. Yeah, they also so, try to get so it's like they got to get the females, they got to get the Asians, they got to get the blacks. They don't give a fuck if any of these people well, ever heard of Joe. DeRosa. That's a lot a of women comedy. in the audience because they want to get more women to watch Comedy Central, Holy and they sit yeah, there kind of grimacing, even on the camera shots. They yeah. even use yeah, it in the footage. Yeah. Of a woman looking up at a comic like yeah. ew, uh, well, that's, uh, really, that's really and then, helping. And then they spend, <laughs> they light the fuck out yeah. of the room so you can see the audience. And I, the, yeah. the problem with comedy and lighting, if you're in the dark, you laugh at anything because yep. you know you're anonymous. But when you're lit up and everyone can see you, you're inhibited. You don't you're gonna, laugh. You're going to choose what you feel like yep. laughing at. And the other thing is, then they take probably close to an hour moving everybody around. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so it's, it's the it's, perfect audience. Yeah, it's like, and I feel bad for you guys. I'm like, this isn't uh, Joe's audience, no. Rich's audience, whatever. No. He's, so on, on this show, we just filled it up, 2,500 people. people, my people who paid money to see the show, and that money paid for the production. Right. Did they know so they the, the, the ticket money paid great. for everything. Did, you know, did they know you were filming for a special? I, when I put it on sale, they didn't. They didn't. I don't even know if we didn't make a thing out of it. We yeah. didn't have a warm-up guy go, listen, you really yeah. got to go crazy <laughs> well, when worst. he comes out, because otherwise it'll be sad. <laughs> There's no warm-up guy. I, I didn't even have an opener. I just walked out on yeah, stage you walk out. before I, I, people were done sitting. I was in the audience, and all of a sudden, Lou just walks out, and, and he goes, no, this is it. The show's starting. People were like, what? I'm still is. getting my beer. We're no, this starting. is it. I'm starting yeah. right now. It's, when you're doing comedy on the That's road, the host, I loved it. the host thinks that he's got to get the crowd all crazy. Are you ready? It's not a fucking rodeo. No, it doesn't they, make them a better just audience. Just even in, in a club. Hey, no. you ready for hell? Look, I hate say, when I'm told fucking... that we didn't cheer good enough the first time yeah. yeah hey you're ready to laugh yeah. tonight yeah okay yeah i have yeah i said oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 don't fucking it's try to pull it's backwards you're supposed to entertain me so much right. that i go crazy right you feel it's yeah. Yeah. i'm supposed to go so crazy that you entertain that's, me yeah. you feel exhausted no before sense. the comic even I comes out beautiful. i feel exhausted like, yeah. that's but that's what's so great again uh, about seeing me. a guy in your position do this because like what opie was saying about the the the, spe the standard special audiences mm -hmm. They'll put somebody like me on a special, and they'll pay the audience, and you'll be king for a day. It doesn't no. fucking do day. anything. No, no. It doesn't. It does it does you know that. And it's like, it's like, I was just at a club this weekend, and I'm standing in the back, and they go, give it up for your headliner, Joe DeRosa. And the 30% applause oh, of people that actually knew who I was... And I'm literally screaming, they don't give a shit. Yeah, they I hate when they yeah. do that during the intros. No, they don't, the other yeah. thing started here's yet. the other thing with intros, too. You don't, listen, uh, enough with the credit. Nobody gives a fuck. They want you to be funny. Oh, where well, they've been yeah, seen. Yeah, well, you might have recognized, well. I like the ones that know, forever ago. <laughs> for, for Joe, <laughs> you'll not, say you might recognize him if you were in the lobby before the show. But He's done you know the Tonight I, Show with, with yeah, Jack yeah, Parr. Who gives a fuck? Uh, yeah. How about sitting, how about sitting in, how about sitting in Caroline's and a comic is using us in their credits? And I'm looking at the stage <laughs> like, know, God, maybe we I mentioned his name it. once. I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. And I'm a credit now. if they're using you. <laughs> but but That's it's, true. as far as uh, as far as the people not stealing the stuff, part of it is like an ongoing thing because I'm gonna keep selling stuff this way. And right. when I go on tour next, I'm gonna try to sell the tickets through my website. So and you need the help of your audience because you're basically telling them, look, if you help me out, I can, then I can more bring these. everything down. So and that'll make them attack, which yeah, I like. Because last time I toured, I what I made on a month of touring to get up to this thing, I was surprised. I didn't know I was make, making that much. And I'm looking at what my tickets are. I always keep them low. Yeah, I'm making enough money. I don't need to make per show. I don't need to make more money. So to me, the only direction for things to go that for me is for the audience to pay less. Right. The, the less they can pay, the, the better. Right. Because I'm fucking fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, I'm looking at everything. Like, the two things that are killing the audience are um, the ticket services, yeah. uh, premium charges, and uh, the uh, the scalpers. When did yeah. you... When, um, I, yeah. got, I got it. Sorry to interrupt. I, yeah. I got to ask you because you, you said it. When did you become fine? Because we watched it happen. You exploded, well, my Well, uh, my version, I get to decide when I'm fine. So, like, I'm not right. rich. Right. I'm not, but um, I'm, support, oh. I'm supporting myself at a level that I like, but, and when I go on the road, I'm able to travel comfortably, um, but I don't have a fortune or a savings. But it went from, like, you had a two-year period where it just exploded, yeah, right? Yeah, I, the last the last, uh, last couple of years have been really good, especially this year. Which, I, I like how you're saying the special, too, that, like, hey, this is going to be over real soon, just... Yeah, no. I'm not. I'm not you. No, I'm not, not like you. I'm not like you <laughs> at all. That's hilarious. <laughs> but uh, but when when this the way I look at it, the thing I'm obsessing now is with is keep getting the price down because also that, like like Ticketmaster, if I put a, a a ticket on sale for thirty bucks, like I could probably get like fifty bucks a ticket in a lot of markets or more. A lot of people, Kathy Griffin charges 50 bucks in some place. Like, I always look at those things and try sure. to stay under her. Like, I try to stay somewhat under tickets of somebody I could probably pay, charge more than. That's my goal. Right. Oh, okay. But here's what happens. First of all, like, my ticket's $30. Ticketmaster makes it up to, like, sometimes 55 bucks. Like, it's almost it's twice as much. Crazy. And then, if I drop the tickets too low, they get bought by StubHub in larger bulk because it's a cheaper investment for uh. them. So the fans oh, up end man. up paying more money. And I don't, I just, when I buy a Ticketmaster ticket and there's a StubHub 
ad on the back of it. There's just no way these people aren't fucking helping each other. That like there's got to be some synergy between those companies, mm-hmm. so that really the same people are getting the money. So this next time I tour, I want I'm gonna not use I'm gonna try not to use ticket services and sell the tickets the same way I'm selling this DVD. Fucking pilot fish. And drop drop the price there. down to like fucking twenty bucks. Well here, That's and then cool. we'll, you'll have to go to the theater to get the tickets. No fucking. So that it'll be impossible. Aren't a lot of the theaters in, co- in cahoots with? Uh... They all are. So, so there'll be a lot. Of, there'll, some places are Ticketmaster only buildings. Right. Wow. And when I when I'm in a city like that that has that, I'll have to do another. You know, like if I'm in a city, I can't. I won't be able to play the three thousand seat theater if it's a Ticketmaster room. I'll have to pay play the fifteen hundred twice. Are you like, worried, worried about better, dude? Are you worried about being blackballed though? <laughs> uh, Somehow. Yeah. Yeah, All of it scares the shit out of me, but yeah, I, it's does, exciting right? at 44 to get to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good feeling. At that and level, this thing, at I'm that level, yeah. At that level, you can't black. At that level, he could always work somewhere and, and make. Well, the money. I don't know That's what right. other well, connections also, they have. Here's the thing, also, the 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 pot, the the thing I just put up this DVD. The, I'm creating a a place now. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and so, and I've got a list of people. They all opted in because I gave them a choice. <laughs> and so, when I go on the road, I can tell people where I'm going. And if they come to my website, to, then the, anybody who's buying the video for five bucks now is investing in the ability. And it's only looked. And the bottom, it's just me telling jokes. So it's not like I'm <laughs> fucking giving them anything else. You're not going to get like a DVD it's, player. Yeah. It's just my next joke. It's a bar. But, it's... but next time I go on the road, I will be able to charge. If I created this framework. It'll give me a place. Now, with the video, I was able to avoid AMC Records and Warner Brothers and Comedy Central and all this stuff. So maybe I can step aside from Ticketmaster. It's hard. It's not mm. easy to do. Are you going to get the same audience watching it? I think so. In I numbers, mean, I mean, numbers. We'll see. I don't, you mean watching this one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Compared it's, to what you've done with HBO and Comedy Central. You know, co- uh, comedy specials don't comedy specials don't have a great place to be. There's thousands mm. of them on Comedy yeah. Central, and they're just on. And uh, most people watching them are, you know, in jail or they can't get at the fucking. They don't have. They didn't give yeah. them a remote. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nobody means nothing it anymore. Means it's, nothing. it's just it shoving really in front of a curtain. Anything. My yeah. fucking mail doing. Right. Here's the thing: if you're a big Louis C. Fan, if Louis C. C.K. C.K. fan, mm-hmm. here's the thing: my second CD live in Philly. Let me just tell you: Louis C.K. took the picture of the cover. <laughs> the cover <laughs> of my my second CD. Uh-huh. Louis C.K. It Louis just, C.K. It, took it. It from, bothers me at that a, he's at slipping a plug in under the guise of a joke. No, smart. I know. I don't even. Just CD constant. anymore. Shut up. Okay, you're yeah. plugging a Wednesday and a Sunday. Okay. I got three CDs to push and three kids. As yeah. you slammed my Wednesday <laughs> in Minneapolis this week, I swear to God, after the first show on a Wednesday, some guy came up to me and he goes, let me tell you something, DeRosa, on a Wednesday night, you're better than that piece of shit Voss on a Saturday night. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I went there, Rich. I wasn't going to say that. I don't care. I probably smashed him. <laughs> you went there, Rich. It doesn't matter. I probably smashed a guy, and he was fat, and you guys got along. It was a skinny guy. It was John Stamos that said it. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Fucking John Stamos. So, uh, Louis' new special, Live at the Beacon, available to stream or download for $5 at louisck.com. I think we had bumped it to three times for people that have any technical problems. You can download it or stream it three times. Three times, and then that's it. you got to pay another 5 then, Yeah, uh, but when you download it that file's yours right you can the reason for having it that you can download it three times is you can do it on three different computers i downloaded it and, and then uh i had it on my mac and then i just popped it on through apple tv yeah. and there it is on my tv in my fucking living room you just can, like i was watching uh, anything else that's, that's right would have been on tv we're burning it Great. you can burn a dvd and we're making it's going to be up tomorrow uh, a dvd cover and label kit oh, shit. So that you, you can print out oh, nice so because i think some people <laughs> might want to give it physically to somebody. like look I got the material. Make the fucking shit yourself. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> like, I, I did enough. You here. put it together. The box. Take a uh, box with a fucking get some glue whatever. and get some it scissors. Right? See yeah. a DVD. Yeah, pull I, the paper out of it. Put I, my thing in it. <laughs> you can put, a, can put a CD in. I want to bring up something you said uh, earlier about the ease of ordering and stuff like that. Yeah. And a website that wants to just pound you and stuff like that. Right. I had an experience on the fucking phone the other day with the American Express. Mm-hmm. I had gotten a new card. And it gives you, you know, a call this number so you could activate your card. And uh, I love the shenanigans they pull with this fucking mm-hmm. thing. Call the number. All right. Put in your number. I did it. I jumped through the little hoops. And then at the end, they go, 
while we're processing your car, yeah. we'd like you to listen to these new features that are available through American Express. Like, no, no. it's already processed. Yes. Don't tell me there's some right. guy with no. a card catalog and little bifocals <laughs> looking up my name. Anthony Cooney. Anthony Cooney. Yes. Put on something else. Tell him to keep listening. I'm not yes. through. Yes. It's, it's done. <laughs> yeah. And imagine, it magically is. enough, the second their little presentation's over, oh. your card has been verified. Perfect yeah. time. Wow, every fucking time. Well, I don't yeah. want to sit through yeah. the, a commercial. Yeah, weirdly, is... hold music stops in the middle of the song. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow they got to yeah. thank you for listening. It's the same as when you call somebody, instead of going leave a message, it takes a minute to leave that message. Dial five, do this. Yeah, if so they like keep you on for 40 yeah. seconds because yeah. they're getting all that fucking free air time. Well, they're selling to you. Well, they're not. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> you <laughs> you <understand>? That <laughs> makes no what? sense. What are you no, talking no, about? They, 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 I mean, they just to... like you listening no, to them? No, 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 not for you. What I'm saying is <laughs> when you call, no, they're keeping you on the air Everyone's laughing so they can yet. charge the you air. for no, nobody pays for minutes. Okay, he thinks he's getting charged while he's listening to an outgoing message. Oh, per minute? When you're called, nobody yes. pays for minutes Some anymore. Some people do, but who? not many. Not many. They're called but black. But who are you calling? <laughs> <laughs> but who are you calling that cares that if you're that you're spending money? No, stupid. No, he means the, 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 the length of the, the boilerplate. It's you that's stupid. It. I know. It's it's the, he's talking about the boilerplate for like Verizon outgoing. If you'd oh. like to leave a message, you or know. press this, press that. Oh, so they're whoa. adding up. We just time. got a tenth of it's a thousandth of a cent from you, sucker. It's like when you go to pump gas. No, you guys don't get. Oh, what's the right? When you go to pump gas, gas the <laughs> no. last eight eight cents is real, real slow, and people go, "Oh, fuck it!" And you're so getting charged people... airtime. No, for that no. Yes. If enough you... people go, "Fuck it!" at two cents, they're yeah. not sitting there. The is that why they do that? No, that's why they do that. That's why they do that. Because it's slowing down. Is it a pro? Because it can't just go. Twenty-five done. You can't oh, do that. You work at a gas station. I don't know that. But you know what? It works out. It does work out in their favor. It works out in their favor, though. God damn it! You might be honest with me. I love that somebody would like. There's an engineer. Like if we just, it's a psychological edge we have. If we slow it down, they're gonna bolt. And we're going to get and this is why rocks wouldn't of gas. that happen yes. with all and the sense are going to why does it slow down at three cents instead of 12 because someone's going to eventually go fuck it the last four cents and and those cents will add up here's, here's, here's a better will add up. here's a better smarter example of what you're trying to say right now okay let's hear it it's who's going to guess like jimmy johnson like, he needs to that race out your, of the your, 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 on the road you should go to his markets and say <laughs> a better smarter version of rich <laughs> just do all the same material but just make it really concise <laughs> I don't have all the bullshit. <laughs> it wouldn't work <laughs> All right, go ahead. Let no, me it's it, listen. It's like when you buy a subway card and they go, "Hey, for ten, for if you buy the ten dollar card, well, you, you'll it's it's not the exact amount for this many rides. Yeah, of course. And there's like a dollar left over, and they know nobody's going to take that dollar and put it towards a ride and put more money on. You just throw the card with the dollar right. away, yep. and that's a buck they got out of you. I think that's what you're trying to say. No, I that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> That's a crime. <laughs> well, okay, you know what? I bet you some. See, <laughs> so that's a real thing that's happening. I bet you some oil executives going. He's on to us. Oh, oh boy! Oh, yeah. Definitely. yeah. Well, I'm sure it works out in their favor, but I don't think that's the reason they did it in the first place. I like how you think oil executives are listening to the show right, right now. Okay. And it's the executive that goes out with yes. his tie and goes, "Well, Rich Voss, we want to talk to you." I say, I say, it's time we listen to Obi and Anthony. Pulls up in a Cadillac with horns on the front in front of Rich's house. Wow, this must be the Rich Voss house. I say. Well, we're on to you, boy. How much you want? How much you want to keep your mouth shut, boy? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That was fucking great. I still don't know who's charging for that phone call. <laughs> that boggled me. Why don't they just me. bring you right to... All I know is they're reframing my still house going. now and it's starting to get still going. It's still going. Yeah, you just will not give it up. It's amazing. <laughs> Could be talking to Louis C.K., but we have conspiracy well, you know theories to get my to opinion. with Rich Voss. Yeah, conspiracy theory. He doesn't even it hear us right, right now because he doesn't have his head speakers on. No. Head speakers. He called them, <laughs> he called them yeah, head put speakers. Put on your low. head speakers. Could you put on your head speakers? Or your or ear you speaker. Room? You know, I'm, I'm outgrowing you guys. What? I'm done. Yeah, I think so. No, look oh. at those hands. They're still tiny. <laughs> <laughs> You're not outgrowing anybody. Nothing's growing on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rich. Oh, you fuck.
Fuck. Uh, What's the matter, Rich? What's wrong, Rich? It's always I've been a thinking catastrophe. about that for years, and I thought I was right it's, about it. Do you ever notice how much <laughs> what, the gas thing? it takes to slide that thing across? That's, that's a what, scam. That's where they get you. That's where they get you. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. They make you look at the screen for 10 seconds longer than yeah, you exactly. need to. That's no, a, but it's true that they don't. They like they sell you while you're buying it already. Yeah, like you're. I'm. I'm fucking. I got the card. You got I'm me done. already. I'm yeah. done I'm here. Jesus. Yeah, I leave don't me alone. Commercial. I'm watching Channel Two. <laughs> leave me the fuck alone. Let right. me actually enjoy the product now. Don't yeah. sell to me what? while I'm fucking trying to take it in. Yeah. The what? worst one of those I ever saw was whatever whatever weird network that Dr. Drew talk show was on. It's some like all help self help network. At the end of his show. Literally for the last like four minutes, the fuck his show goes like this up into the corner. Oh, they yeah. squeeze it, and then the other seventy-five yeah. percent of the screen is the ca is a countdown clock and the ad for the next show. It's yeah, like, are you goes, fucking no. kidding? I've me seen right that. Now? I've well, seen like him when you have an the... agent or a manager. Like if you if you ever uh, uh, interview with agents, like when you're looking for a new agent, and they, they'll I, I've had this conversation every single time. They say, "Hey, here's the advantage of signing with me." My other clients are this director, this you know, Quentin Tarantino. I represent, you know, fucking whoever. I can't think of any, you know, Peter Bogdanovich. <laughs> and if you sign with me, oh, I will you horn you into his, I'll get you onto his movies. And then I go, well, if I make a movie, do I have to fucking hire your clients? <laughs> no, no, I would never do that. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. But you just, so said. you just, I'm your favorite yeah. person in the world? <laughs> right. And You're you don't even have it. me yet? Fucking asshole. You're a liar. <laughs> You're just a liar, right? That's amazing. Well, aren't they all? When, uh, it, when, a show, when a show ends now and they squeeze the credits yeah. and they roll them a fucking thousand miles an hour, <laughs> you can't even see them. And the others, the next show is starting above the credits already. Yes. It, uh. It's like because they can't it. put a commercial in there anymore. No. And if you remember when I was growing up, you know, with, with the fucking three channels, uh, it was like a fuckload of commercials at the top right. of the hour before a show. That's right. And that was it. And then, well, that's what like we were talking about. Um, I, I came in under budget with the special. I've got a, a bunch of money that well, I Louis expected to Louis C.K. for president, spend. I say. <laughs> Fix this fucking economy. He's changing the world. We came in way under and we have extra money, which I could keep. But then I thought if we re it's worth, if there's a way to invest it and increase the sales, it's worth it. Yeah. And, and I thought maybe by advertising. That's one thing I thought. I could afford to do it. Uh, and so I was talking to a guy about it and he said, well, I was asking him about TV ads, like getting, you know, little clusters of cable ads and stuff. And he said the web advertising is so great, but I'm not going to do it because a TV ad comes on between the shows. You're done watching and, you, and it <laughs> yeah. comes on. And TV ads have been there forever and ever. But a web ad comes on on top of a thing you're trying to use. <laughs> yes. You're trying to use yeah. something and it comes on. And I just know if I make a web ad, I've never clicked on a banner in my life. No. no. I could have a banner that has you, Anthony, on it saying, hey, Louis, this Louis, I always please wanted to tell click you. this. <laughs> please, it'll save Man, I know, my family's him. lives. Yeah. Uh, now I see your face in front of something I'm trying to jack off. <laughs> fucking, fucking Anthony. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Come they, on, they, man. This really makes you pissed just off. It's intrusive, and they're right. always, even if it's like yes. people I like Will Ferrell, like knocking on the glass of my computer. <laughs> hey, click on this. Fuck you, Will. <laughs> you make me laugh, but right now you're just making me angry. Yeah. And they made the ads way, way, way more intrusive because there was a good couple of years where they'd go, you can get the free version of this site but to get rid of the ads and i was like i don't give a fuck put the ads up yeah. i'm not paying yeah. for this shit and then they made the ads like eh. they're insane so you have yeah. to go fuck it i'll pay for it this yeah, is now they're crazy. using ads as leverage to get you to pay to clean the site right. so you're right. Right. Yeah. Right. you want to watch these fucking yeah. ads yeah look how yeah. bad your they problem are they're telling the advertiser look how much we're give room we're giving you they don't know they're actually <laughs> yeah. doing that to drive this other price to get <laughs> money to <laughs> stop to, the to ads stop yeah. you can't see any we'll let you use the site for free this guy's going to jerk off in your eyes, though. <laughs> what site is that? Stop. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. If you make a, a thing pleasant to go to, like the other thing I did was you don't have to go away and then get an email, the, that sort of uh, confirmation email uh, yeah. thing, which is Those, just another right. security step. Yeah. But how many fucking people like when i first sold a cd and dvd on my website years ago and then somebody would email me the money through paypal 
And it's once in a while somebody would write and go, hey, I wrote, I, I put the money in, but I didn't get the thing. I didn't get a yeah. confirmation. And I'd be like, how do I figure this out? I'd call PayPal, and I was on phone with PayPal for like 10 minutes, and I was like, About why am I doing this? Time. Just send it. Send it. Right, Just right. fucking send it. Look, it cost I, me I've 50 been, cents. I've been, selling, uh, I've been selling some <laughs> Live from the Compound t-shirts. I'm, I'm yes. in the t-shirt business. Nice. And... Uh, I, I hate the the fact because I I wound up I got a lot of orders for fucking t-shirts yeah. and I'm I'm kneeling on my living oh. room floor <laughs> printing labels out and shoving shirts in plastic envelopes. Yeah, fucking millionaire. It's like I, yeah, yeah, and I'm sitting there like, why am I doing this? But yeah, I figured out like a faster system after a while. And right. Fuck it, whatever. But I've gotten a couple of people that have been like, uh, I get an email and they're instantly nasty, dude. It starts like, dude. I fucking sent the money, <laughs> and I've been waiting. I didn't get the fucking shirt. You know, I'm going to call my credit card company and dispute this shit. And then I wrote him back. I go, hey, fella. I go, your shirt's on the way. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not sending any more money for shipping. I said, no, I'm, I'm sending it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, when am like, I they get, get so fucking... Yeah. Yes. They how get dare so... They? When I used to sell how CDs on my, on oh, my how website. Dare they <laughs> I I'm sure they want their merchandise. When I used to sell stuff on my web, I used to do that too. And I was always in trouble. Yes. I was constantly in trouble with somebody, with, you know, people. With, yeah. You know, I it was a trust issue that I sent you. A the trust money, issue. You know. Come on. Oh, I saw, I, I, I logged on and I saw a dispute. I like fucking yeah. customer dispute. I was like, oh, so what happened? You know, when this thing went live, like we, we put it up at noon on Saturday. This is one of the funnest things I ever did because it's not, I have no experience in this kind yeah, of thing. Brand new. Yeah. Cool. And um, um, all the th stuff, like I made the website very big. We, I paid a shitload of money. To, like I doubled what I thought I'd probably have to pay. <laughs> okay. Just there's be no question. Um, so it's super fast and it's super. There's two British guys running it. So if you ever have to talk to somebody, it's a British, you know, nice man. That sounds good. Yeah, exactly. But when it first place. went live and it started watching the sales <laughs> number come place. up, yeah. and then the and the dispute number was the other one, and it would be like one for every few thousand. Like it was really, oh, that's good. it was really. I think we've had like ten people. What do you mean? Yeah. For their money off? back. I think oh. five of them were because they thought they were buying tickets to a show. For five hours. Oh, yeah, five dollars. Dollars. Yes, for you five virtually dollars. are buying tickets to a show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unbelievable. The worst is when you send somebody something like they go, Hey, can I get your CD? And you go, Just what's your address? I'll mail you one. And yeah. they don't fucking thank you. It drives me <laughs> fucking. You send them, so that's you what bothers me. It does because you no send Somebody wrote, a woman wrote me on, <laughs> on uh, my email uh, about a month before the Beacon show. And she said, My husband is a huge fan and I wanted to get him this for his birthday. And she gave me a list of problems they've been having, uh, economic problems. And I never, I never answer that kind of stuff because it's like, come fucking pay the money and see my show. Yeah. yeah. But the, I don't know something about this email is like, I'm sitting here, I'm taking a shit. <laughs> she wants two tickets. It's not that hard. And I just forwarded it to my agent and said, give her two. She, I said, give her two comps just uh, for whatever she wants, whatever show she wants to go to. Never heard, never nothing. No, yeah, thank nothing, you. No, really? thank you. She got the tickets and was like, yeah, those are my, yeah, that's right. Ugh. That's yeah, how you get asshole. your tickets. We no fucking thing. Fucking it's weird asshole. Enough, they asked us to, and we talked about this on the podcast. They asked us to do benefits. Okay, you'll do a benefit. You, you do your time. But then they'll call you and go, can you put it on Twitter? Can you put it on Facebook? Can you do it? Yeah. Now I'm not only doing a benefit. I'm your fucking promoter, okay? <laughs> and then you do the fucking benefit, and you don't get a thank you. Finally, we got one six weeks later or four, four mm -hmm. weeks later. I was out of my fucking mind. Well, they're a little busy trying to help the fucking African sick people. Yeah, dying people. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Rich. I'm trying to feed this kid with no mouth. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to find we're trying to find lips for this kid. <laughs> and you want your thank you? We haven't thanked Rich Jesus for his Rich. 15 minutes <laughs> between Robert Wall and right. fucking Caroline Ray. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thank the audience would be thanking me for that. Yes, right. <laughs> Their kid is not going to see the age five, but you need your thank you. <laughs> Jesus, it's a benefit. It's a benefit. But a benefit when I do a benefit, yeah. it costs us at of least two hundred. Oh no! Babysitter. Oh. Listen, I know it does, but you're doing it for. <laughs> you done oh thing. my God! You he's thank got you? no. You're you doing like it for you? the thing. You for don't the like people. A thank you, Rich. A thank you would be nice, but most people understand you that don't there's get other mad things when going people on. Don't thank you, Rich. Yeah, Rich, I, if I for, tell you the person was, you would. No, <laughs> Rich. I have never said this in my life, and I don't ever think this except well, I'm for going you. On a diet? No, you are such. 
<laughs> you are such. Joe's not a ha- heavy guy. Oh, he needs a he needs a he's trainer, not exactly. not a, not a diet. No, he needs something. to get healthy. Yeah, yeah. he's not healthy. He's pale and he's fucking <laughs> not a hint of muscle. No, but worm. besides but that, I, but he's not heavy. The yeah, first time, I mean, <laughs> I mean, shit on him for the proper reason. Right. <laughs> he's a fucking he's a mess. Fucking flabby Jew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jew. So the other end of the spectrum, you actually got fucking pasty. <laughs> and, and asexual enough for God, the Jewish God, to love you. <laughs> he took you in. You're uh, you're you're like the sort of physical inspiration for me. Yeah, I know. It's the I first know. time I worked with you yeah. years and years ago. You were like telling me like was that Raleigh or somewhere? Yeah, or? we're in North yeah. Carolina for New Year's, yeah. Yeah. and uh, you were like. You were you were telling me about going around that jogging track. Yeah, I you was, were. I think you were forty at the time. You I go, was running. Yeah, like if I I thought at forty, if I could get around this, and I was like, I got till forty. Yeah, I can fuck <laughs> okay. off till forty. Okay, so All that right. made me feel like how old are you now? Thirty four. Uh, oh, so right. a fucking man. Man. Six years, oh six years is a lot of money. And he's like fucking fifty nine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I got it. Uh, we care yeah. about you. Jeez, How you're... old are you, Anthony? Oh, I've, I've no just cracked old. the uh, half a century mark. That's are it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. How old are you? Forty eight. That's you're forty nine, aren't you? No. Fuck. How'd that happen? I don't know. That's that's, a, that's crazy. Jeez. How old are you, Ross? 54. Are you really? Oh, I'll be 55. He looks June. good. Voss looks oh, Rich good. is right there. How are the abs today? He's in the pocket. Good? You get to see the abs when he comes in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they're all hairy. And... <laughs> I know. It holds the jizz. You can't, like, oh, it no. gets all hard. It's like Raquel I... Welch's tits now. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, those used to be awesome. <laughs> I'm, those once, were when important I lose ones. Ten, when I lose 10 pounds, I'm going to shave again. What? My chest. <laughs> Who cares? Like, these are your goals. Why are you telling yeah. us that? Yeah. These are your goals. Yeah. Yeah. Some about people being... are like, I'm going to have my own show by <laughs> right, next year. Right. When I lose 10 pounds, I'm going to shave my abs again. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great you gotta, you gotta, you gotta Why do you need to lose goals low? Why do you have to lose 10 pounds? Huh? Why do you have so to I could be time? fucking ripped, man, because I know we're going to get into a festival, and I want to go there looking good, He's going to go to the beach with those blonde hair dunes. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't we... It was Gotta so nice bad. when you came in. We were talking. This week. See, you fall into their category. What, what are you talking about? Category. <laughs> you have, he's you're already, he's already What's that category? What's that category? Funny? <laughs> 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 Rich, he's always been that guy. What are you talking about? Nah, he's not a double agent. <laughs> no, oh, you thought he was being Rich a double is, agent? I have a big uh, affinity for Rich Voss. Who doesn't? <laughs> Important person. Why? You know what? When I was getting divorced, he was really nice to me. That's all it takes. Nice. Yeah, I came to this show back when it was in another We were building. nice to you. No, you guys are no, you're not. You're not. <laughs> you're not. Of course you are. I came into this show uh, in like a stunned state of just, I was just fucking depressed. Yeah. And uh, and there's fucking dumb Rich Voss. And uh, he says something to me like, if, hey, if you ever want to talk about what's going on with you, you know, I'll talk to you about it. And I was like, why would I want to talk to you? And, you know, you wear a gold Rolex and you don't have any money. I got a silver one, too. So, <laughs> so uh, he sits next to me on the couch and he goes, uh, hey, you know, um, I when I got divorced, I had two kids, uh, two little girls. And uh, um, and he described my life exactly. exactly, And he gave me, like, fucking said three or four things that meant so, that were so important, just practical. When you're in a fucked up place like yeah. that. All the nice things people say are just insulting. Like, hey, man, you'll be okay. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, no, you I get won't. Through it. Yeah. The point is, no, I won't with you at <laughs> all. The only thing that means anything is practical advice. Is like, hey, here's something that I've been there, and here's something that makes it easier. What did he say? And he did say? say? It doesn't matter. Well, what he said, well, well, it's, it's interesting. It doesn't matter. matter. I'll Maybe tell it'll help someone else out there. <laughs> He said, I, I'm going to cheat on Bonnie all the time. No, no, he, said, <laughs> he said to me that he is uh, big. He's, two things that meant, were important to me. First, he said that his biggest goal was to maintain a good relationship with his ex. Like that it was really important to him to take what, do whatever it took to stay amicable with her. And he said, now Bonnie and I have a baby and she babysits tonight so I can have a date night. That's that. That's how that paid off, and that his two girls are now grown, and that they share them, and that they they have that they feel good between their two parents. Mm. 
So that's what that he said. This is like it's hard, but if you do it, here is what can happen. Like there's a fucking future. Rich, then, who told you this? Yeah, this was like this was <laughs> this, amazing. I'm this sitting is there, like, <laughs> and then I said, and then I'm asking questions. I'm like, you know, I've been I, I had been divorced for a while, and I said I dated for a bit, and I didn't want to anymore. Like I didn't want to keep going out and trying to get laid. I didn't like that part of it like i just didn't i was like a lot, a lot going on and i said but that feels like i'm worried that i'm like reclusing myself by and he said fuck getting laid you got a career and you got two kids for right now that can be enough like he gave me uh, uh it said it's okay not to get laid sometimes as a man you feel like you got to get pussy wherever it's available mm -hmm. But sometimes it's okay to take a breath and right. actually just be a father and a professional, whatever you are. And it left me off the hook. This shit meant a lot to me. Wow. Oh. Wow. And look at that. I sit shit, here Rich. and I will insult him. Yeah, it doesn't matter what kind of people's entertainment. Himself. But no, well, I, I'm is. grateful to, uh, to Rich Boss. Here's I got a lot of support from unusual places during when that you time. Get, <laughs> when you get divorced, and mm. you know this. Well, yeah. you know, I have no kids, and, though. Well, yeah. huh? I had no kids though. So. Yeah, that's not yeah. even. That's just a financial it, fleece yeah. thing. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's just yeah. fucking extortion. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same. Like as, it's the same as in recovery. If you quit, if you quit drinking and doing drugs, and you start gambling, you're only mm -hmm. transferring addictions, and and you're not dealing with quitting drinking and drugs. Right. If you're going through a divorce and you just start fucking whatever you can, it's just burying the pain in here, and you're using, you're jerking off in some. Yeah, drug. you're not actually. That's, that's all you're doing. That's why I think the problem with a lot of people now is that they're just consumers. They just want to consume and shit, and they don't think about, like, well, I actually need to do something to make myself feel better. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I actually have to take a breath. Like a locust in a pussy field. You just got to kind of <laughs> run your way through it and eat it and... Consume it, I and don't then know <laughs> I, I think that's the. I, know, I think that's the opposite of what he's trying to say. Uh, I don't. I, I do what you do. I just shove it all down. Oh, oh just tamp it, tamp it down. <laughs> it's yeah. terrible, and man. It's, 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 you're making yourself ready down. for your first marriage. And it's, gonna, it's all gonna fucking unspool. Yeah. Like a like a Chinese food container full yeah. of maggots <laughs> oh, uh, in the middle of your marriage. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. parents, we talked about all this shit when my parents were fucking divorced, and they didn't have any knowledge back then. This is fucking. 40, 49 years ago. The bosses but, of now. The apple doesn't fall <laughs> far from the tree. Yeah. <laughs> and you turn it. Here's the thing. You know, my and we used to. We've your parents about, were shitty toward each fucking, other. They would, they using would the set kids. the kids up. Right. To you know, to go at each other, a lot you know, of fuck. Do that. and it's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous because, in the end, you end up doing crack and bad radio shows. It's not fucking <laughs> worth no. it. And also, uh, I think the basic thing is, it's like some people just are narcissists because the thing that's supposed yeah. to happen when you have kids is that they just become more important than you. And it's not like you do it painfully. You just feel it. You just go, the kid matters more. So you would never do if you if you're that kind of person. Then when you get in an altercation with another person, you don't put your fucking kid yeah, in no. the middle of it to preserve yourself or to hurt someone else. That's insane. Yeah, pretty fucked up. But a lot I of people do it. Like so. you said, so fucked up. Any, yep. Anybody, fucked up. any parent that keeps their fucking kids from the other parent, should, those are the ones that should lose their kids. Okay. Well, here's what some people say, and it's true. If you if you have a kid and you're divorced and you say bad shit about the other kids yeah the kids other parent yeah you are criticizing 50 percent of the kid yes the kid oh. a, a kid especially a kid who's a child they are made up of two people and they identify with a man and a woman their mother and father so if you say your father's a piece of shit or your mother's a whore mm. the person's going to feel that in themselves they're going to think they're going to take that in so it's not a stranger. It's their fucking yeah. mom, you idiot. I was a hundred. I was a hundred percent a piece of shit then, because my parents just would <clears throat> call each other horrid things. Oh, right in front of the kids too. Right. Oh, listen, oh, it's yeah. wonderful. Hey, well, when you're they... in the marriage, everybody's in the yeah. same house. Yeah, <laughs> this shit goes on. But look what they gave birth to. There should be fights. I know. <laughs> Well, they, they made no, they told me together. it was never my fault. They told me now we're getting divorced. That's but not your fault. It, my, or they didn't even, even use that word. I they were like, fucking... daddy's living somewhere else. It's not your 
fault. And it, <laughs> it's like, I didn't think it was. Now no. I'm starting to, though, because you're yeah, trying to tell me it's that. not. Yeah, you just put that thought in my head. What the fuck? Is it my fault? I see you two yelling all the time about shit that doesn't even concern me. Dad's drunk. Fucking, he's not working. It's suspicious. Come to my house. I promise I'm not going to rape you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. why are you why saying you that? Say that? <laughs> I would never rape uh, you. I would never. That's why I love Tommy. Like, my parents, when we, I was in second grade, it was nothing but fighting. Where's dad? This and that. So I'd come home from school. Your last and I would put school. fucking Von Meter album on and, and just listen to it every day and sit and laugh and forget. You know, what just watch comics. Von Meter. Who's Von Meter? He did the uh-huh. Kennedy impressions. He was great. He had the yeah. biggest that's fucking what, career. That's what saved you in your <laughs> fat family was <laughs> Kennedy impressions. Was Von Meter? In second grade, man. <laughs> oh my Him God. and Alan King. I'm sorry. Hey, we got to go to the uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the Lincoln party. bathroom and uh, have a Lincoln log. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll go ahead and fuck me now. Yeah. It's fine. I heard Ken. I heard a lampooning of, uh, of two presidents ago. Oh yeah. When my yeah. parents and died in that it. plane crash, I'll tell you, Rich Little, Rich <laughs> Little <laughs> Nixon, uh, 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 he just died? raised me like no. the phoenix from the flames. Oh. Who wouldn't laugh at that? Yeah. I thought they died. I don't know. You no, know. my parents. I'm adopted. That's why I thought they died in a plane crash. I don't know. My the, my real parents might be dead. I have no fucking idea. Yeah. I uh, on 9 11. <laughs> 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 Oh Jesus! So your parents are <laughs> racist. Oh, my God. Uh, you're, you're Arab, and your parents now are white. That adopted you. Uh, I'm half by blood. I'm half Arab and half Egyptian, and yeah. my adopted wow. adoptive parents are. 100 percent of time jesus christ how far that down is. the list do they have to go to get an arab i mean how many <laughs> not that far. Even, even black kids first oh, shit. <laughs> you can get <laughs> you can get two black kids for one arab <laughs> trying to get, try to get yeah w- like if you were to adopt uh, a white kid you got to wait online however if you were to adopt an asian or an arab that is like the fucking bargain bit <laughs> <laughs> right, right, to, right to the front of the line <laughs> right. oh, it's a bit. yeah try to get a white kid's like trying to get a harley <laughs> yeah. like awful. Can you guys come with a TV. <laughs> yeah. uh, Lou, you're on uh, Reddit.com right now, the front page. That's huge. Oh, nice. oh shit. I'm well, serious. I went on yesterday and I did a whole um, thing where you ask uh, the answer questions. Yeah, that's fucking huge. Reddit. I didn't know that that shit like, got reprinted because I was being really dirty, too. Really? But it's all right. <laughs> Uh, the new special is called happens. Live at the Beacon. Louis C.K. available to stream or download for just five bucks. Five bucks. Uh, LouisCK.com or .net. And I'm going to make it a giftable uh, tomorrow, too. We're going to make it that you can give it away, you know, like buy it and then send it to somebody and you get a little envelope. And Damn, you think I got everything. That's yeah, because it's, it, yeah. it's just busy work. God, it's just wanna, somebody doing it. I want to yeah. know how many downloads so bad. Yeah, I ain't telling you. <laughs> I mean, I might tell you off the air, but I'm not oh, telling you. I can't yeah. let it out. It's like corporate secret information. You seem right very now. happy. It's, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I'll say that so far, I mean, it's an ongoing experiment. Are you surprised by the number? Um, Is it within range what you were hoping? I don't know because I had so many levels. Like I had, there's like okay. a bunch of tiers of what could happen. Okay. And the other thing is that, the, I mean, to me right now, it's been like a pre-sale. Like I mm-hmm. haven't promoted it. This is like the first thing I've done yeah, to promote yeah. it. I just tweeted it and read it, and that's really it. Well, Rich is crying. So I have to do it. I know. Yeah. This is your first promotion. And it's not really. This is a practice promotion. Yeah, this is practice. <laughs> and then I'm doing, uh, you right. know, the Tonight Show and all that yeah, stuff. And yeah, yeah. Now it's, uh, it's like the thing that's interesting about it to me, because <laughs> everything that's on iTunes and Netflix and stuff, it event, it, it starts out as a TV event. Like, it's been, it's going to be on at this time. Sure. Uh-huh. And then it gets a ratings number, and then it moves on from there. And then eventually it gets liquidated. But the fact that this is starting as something that you go to as a destination and buy it, it's going to be interesting to see, like, how does... I'm sitting here watching sales while I'm sitting here. So when I do the Tonight <laughs> yeah. Show, so is we'll this see helping? if it actually feeds it. It's, go, it's, it's going up. I mean, I don't know if it's the hour or the show. But it's, <laughs> it's, it slows so much down heat. at night. It's oh. really interesting to watch the, how it goes, the stream goes yeah. up and down. It gets slow at night, and then towards, like, at 9.15 in the morning... 
all the every day. There's a spike. By the way, Louis is obsessed now with oh, these. Oh no, it's so <laughs> interesting. But it's fun watching, watching numbers, so watching the, gra- watching the little shit. graph and everything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I That's study it. graphics and but I like. I'd crap. say I'll be able to really so know right how it you. worked. Yeah, exactly. for after it's been up for like a month or two, because you're supposed to be able to just keep making money with something, and this won't maybe do that. And you're hoping we'll have mm-hmm. a stopping point. Right, right. And you're hoping to do one of these a year, I would assume. Because you, yeah. you do about an hour well, I a have year. Also, I have a CD of, I, last year I did a tour that I called Word, and I went, that material went into the series, and I never released it as its own thing. But I shot it, I did a, a CD of it at Carnegie Hall. So I have a live Carnegie Hall CD of that material. <laughs> wow. And a lot of it wasn't in the show. So it's and it's the only complete show of it. So that's coming next, and I'll sell that on that the That was website. a great show, too. I was at the Carnegie that Hall. That was a really fun show. And it's been sitting in my desk in the drawer. So I'm gonna oh, put it, I'm gonna put it on the like, and same thing with the labels and all that stuff. And you gotta deal with the venues. On the website, five bucks. It'll the, always be five bucks. The venues take their fucking piece, and it's a big one, right? Yeah, Carnegie Hall was uh, I mean, there's you know, it's funny, you actually pay not to mention the place. Like be, uh, it's called live at the Beacon Theater because if I didn't call it that, it would cost me like twenty thousand bucks to not use the name. <laughs> so, so it's called an origin fee. And uh, so fucked up. Oh, yeah, it's weird. Boy, they can't even fucking. No yeah, matter what you try to do in this world, they get. I don't mind fees. calling it live at the Beacon because Carlin did a special there, and and it, and I love that theater, you know. But uh, you know, I would like to not have had to. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, the Carnegie Hall C- CD, I'll put that out next. And then, yeah, next year I'll probably do another special. I hear it's almost impossible wow, to shoot fucking... video at Carnegie Hall. That that number is ridiculous. No, well, we what we did a want. CD there. Yeah, yeah, it would have been a lot because, well, their their union is... Uh, they they oh, want boy. some bucks for that. They do. I've heard that over the years. The, the CD is good, yeah. though. The guy who makes the, does, like, the orchestras did sure. it. Not that, you know, he had one fucking mic to... Just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's used to mic the show. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. That mic right there? Yeah. That one? Yeah, But it was this it. Russian guy or German or something. He was like, this sounds is very good. I'd want you to speak for a while at your regular tone. <laughs> and I spoke and he kept coming up. This little man it was kind of cool. One, one other thing I want to mention. I just remember when I was at the Beacon show, you fucking lost it because the, the guy with the spotlight fell asleep. Yeah, he lost me. He lost That's not in this spotlight. special, right? No, it's not. Oh, it's we weren't bad. taping that show. Because how you handle that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he, you're basically he, telling the guy, look, your only job is to follow me. Yeah. Every time I stood still for a while, if I walked to my right or left, it would I'd walk in a dark. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he finally had to address it. It was yeah, hilarious. Yeah, I had to Jesus say, Christ. fucking stay with me. It's like, it's called a follow spot. And then he realized, he, yeah. follow me. <laughs> yeah. he, he might have, like, hit him a little too hard, because then Louis like, ah, I love everyone here at well, the beacon, these and fucking... I love the unions, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> these massive stage hands. Yeah. These guys are enormous. And I live down the street. I walk by there with my kids all the time. They could easily There's just... a fucking Louis. Yeah. Right. 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 Oh, did I not follow you enough? How about if I follow you now? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> the whole how it went down was the whole thing was hilarious because then you realize all right I better apologize a little bit too. Well, that was they might fun, pull man. the power in the middle of this fucking thing. And <laughs> that show was me who's a fun boss. show. And the show I did was uh, I did an hour and forty five minutes, but I cut it down to an hour because it just made it better. And the other shit I've been putting out on YouTube, just right. throwing it out there. Good so, for you, man. Yeah. Uh, so That's what, great, what right? weeknights are you at college? Oh boy. <laughs> well, it's oh, funny boy. listening to like Louis talking about watching the spikes and the numbers. I'm like, oh, this is what it's like when your stuff really sells. Yeah. Like I get a I get a check for my record label, and I'm just like, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw any money. I always had back end deals for DVDs and stuff. Never saw a penny of it. And I'm not this, the money I'm making is not life changing. But the thing that's that What's good about it is that it's in my bank account already. Yeah, yeah. We, we, like that, right never, there. that never happens. You don't actually get the money. Man. We got to go back so, to na- 1998, I guess, Ant. We put a CD oh, out, God. and the experience was so horrible. We never tried again. And the CD right. sold so really Shyster well. was in charge mm-hmm. of the and, whole fucking thing. And at the time, it, it got really good reviews. I don't know if the material holds up anymore, but for the I time, it. it did very well. Mm. And it and it, and was, it was charting locally right. and here and there, whatever. But this shyster... Yeah, what you know were we good. getting? Like twenty five cents that we had to split between I, each other. The deal per, was so bad. It was twenty five cents. I no seventy five cents. Seventy five cents a disc that we had to split, but there was right. no accounting of a, officially what we sold. And then one day he kind of gave us a check, and then he stopped paying us because he was mad at us. And, right. and huh. he was he was making money off posters and T shirts that he printed. We, we also get... in a corner counting money counting when we were doing signing. <laughs> he was in counting a corner, like, and you just hear. <laughs> 
somebody on like, iTunes. Like, all right, I think he, something's going on. Did he pay you guys like we, this? One for you, we, two uh, for me. Nothing. No, no I wish there was a one for me. It wasn't even one for me. We, uh, it was the Springfield Mall in Massachusetts. We did an eight-hour signing. This line was fucking for days basically and he's selling posters and t-shirts without giving us a piece of the action and like Ant said he had a stack nah, of fucking money wow. somebody Fuck. selling on itunes some of your stuff like you know people in studio for like 2.99 uh thing Whatever. yeah that's not you guys there. doing that no no i don't you sell anything. i thought that that was serious xm doing no. that no. every Bootleg. fucking day Bootleg or so goes up Bootleg. itunes are able to do that Honestly. yeah they what Oh, Audible we got. Well, Audible uh, does, Audible but, is, but there is are people the bootlegging company. our shit. Torrents and stuff. Oh, yeah, man. You know, oh, iTunes, yeah. Oh, oh, iTunes offered right before I put this up to take it, and they gave us a really good offer. Oh. But uh, the weird thing to me about iTunes is, like, my show is on iTunes, and no one, like, I get emails from people all the time. I can't, where can I see the second season? Yeah. It's on iTunes. It's a buck uh, episode. People write me from England and say, why won't they show your show over here? You can get it worldwide on iTunes, and nobody goes there. There's yeah. something about iTunes people don't I love getting there. I don't know what it is. Oh, I mean, I know it's fuck. huge, right, right. but I, maybe not oh, for Oh, look at Rich. He's like, oh. Oh, my shit. That's not so it is for podcasts, I think it is. No, good. I mean my CD. It's oh, also well, no, you're not going to sell Oh, you're those. done. You're not selling any of those. <laughs> no, forget it. It went down to $4. No. <laughs> Voss's CD is still empty inside. It's out today. But uh, I, I, what It'd about... It'd be great if you get the CD and there's a, not a CD in it. There's nothing in there. <laughs> 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 someone, someone wrote me, is that your apartment? I mean, your house? After oh. the f Our house burned down. Oh, it so, did? Yeah, in August. I'm sorry. You didn't do it. Well, Bonnie's wife did. His wife did. We're, right. we're convinced of it. But yeah. uh, third season, uh, yeah, June, June, late June. All right, we got a while. while. Nice. Fuck, I hate when you have to wait between seasons. <laughs> so, that's that's why I love The Wire so much I because I written anything. Yeah. I didn't watch The Wire when it first came out. So by the time I was I was into The Wire, yep. I, I had three seasons Marathon. in front of me mm -hmm. to I catch to, up with. I got to get someone said uh, you got to get this Boardwalk Empire. Is it yeah, great? A lot of people are talking about it. Let's go with this Boardwalk Empire. They're it's, all the kids are talking about. You speak it. of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talking like I mean, we're in I'm Braveheart. The third season of Sons of Anarchy <laughs> was no. <laughs> <laughs> no way to get information. <laughs> oh, but I also I dedicated the thing to Patrice. I don't know if any. Yeah, you I saw that. that at the end. Yeah, really, uh, really cool. Big. Yeah, that still yeah. hurts a yep. lot. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, mm -hmm. we don't talk. We haven't talked about it as much, but it fucking yep. still hurts a lot. Yep. It's fucking horrible. There was uh, there were a lot of O and A guys out in Minneapolis at the shows, and and they were coming up and dude, our condolences, our condolences, and yeah. and a bunch of guys were like, dude, I cr I cried when he died. They were like, I never met the guy, but I cried. Yeah, people that never yeah. met him. That's the, so weird. The dude. fans have been fucking amazing about yeah. this whole thing because there's always assholes no matter what is happening around you. Especially here, but our with, fans. But with this one, man, I just didn't <laughs> see it. Everyone was fucking. Am they were just amazing. A couple dickheads, but. Not yeah. you know, not worth really mentioning by name. No, no. But in general, holy fuck, the love for this guy. Jesus, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's un it's unfucking believable, man. Still. All right. Now that we're depressed. Yeah, it's on a high note. Huh? Yeah. Everyone, everyone, get their plugs out. Uh, Caroline. Oh no, we got the and, promo code for you, Joe. Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, Caroline's tomorrow, <laughs> Thursday, and Sunday. I, I, we're gonna go to one of the shows. It's uh, promo code O N D A, and you'll save a whole bunch of money on your ticket. What? Lowercase. Oh, oh, all lowercase. Why did, why would that matter? It does. Why the fuck would they do that? They should know. learn from Louie. Make it easy. You know what? You're uppercase, up. lowercase, it shouldn't matter, but it has to be lowercase. Yeah, right. please come lowercase. out to the shows. Fuck. All right. Yes. yes. Don't see Joe DeRosa. He's really funny, man. Fuck yeah. He's uh, a really thanks. good comic. Fuck thanks, yeah, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Louie. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. I ain't going. And Rich, we already <laughs> said you were funny. Uh, the podcast went down to number nine since we've been on the radio. Get the fuck out of here. I'm man. telling you what. We used to have so much heat. Huh? We used to have so much heat. It's at number nine. No, it went from like, you went up to number good. nine. Then it yeah. means it went, it went up. up to number yeah. nine. No, it oh, went from 25 down. It's not down. like, oh, it's number one. Oh, I want to be number god. one No, million. it doesn't go down. Oh, my God. Jesus, you fucking one depressed one the shit out of me. It went up. You know what I was saying. Because it went down to number nine. That means we suck. Everything I said, you fucking just discounted all the help you gave me when I was And then he tries to explain how that's going down. Fucking dummy. How is it going down from 25 to nine? We're number one. When and everyone uh, looks at it as going up on the chart. Well, you're acting like climbing the chart has been the expression for the last 50 fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> the press the shit out of it that this way. Without a promo code. And then I'm like, fuck, we used to have heat. It's like, no, we actually uh, did no, good you're doing by great. you today. Thank you, guys. Rolling, you good? Thank you. Why'd you come in?
<laughs> I'll tell you why he I'm came in. He wants to know uh, if there's a woman that's uh, always cold around the house. Is that what you're, what you're supposed wrong? to do? You know, she's always turned up the uh, thermostat. Does that happen? You know what she'd love for the holidays? She'd love a hoodie footy pajama from Pajamagram. Oh, yes. Pajamagram.com. The super comfy pajamas. They're going to help keep it warm and looking great. The hoodie footy combines the warmth of a hoodie with the coziness of those footy pajamas that uh, kept you so cozy when you were a little kid. There's uh, lots of great styles to choose from, including holiday prints and leopard prints for her wild side. And uh, you're both going to enjoy that gift, aren't you? They make it easy. Every hoodie footy is delivered from Pajamagram with free gift packaging inside. And uh, to order a hoodie footy, shop online at pajamagram.com. She's going to think of you every time she puts on that hoodie footy. Overnight and Christmas Day delivery are guaranteed. Visit pajamagram.com or call them 1-800-GIVE-PJs. That's pajamagram.com. Uh, everybody, um, that's it. Have a great, it better be, I'll tell you, because Sam's going to be uh, chirping the next one. Once again, for Louie, uh, Live at the Beacon, available to stream or download yes. right now. Five bucks, that's it. Don't fucking steal this. It, he, he made it nice and easy for steal. everybody. Yeah, if it was 50 bucks, then we would understand. Steal oh, the shit out of it. 50 bucks would be like, rip that Louie off. Of course. <laughs> but for five bucks, do it, man. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed. LouisCK.com or LouisCK.net. And, of course, you spell Louis. I just. L O U I S. So you know with an S instead of I E. Huh? Yeah. What? Doesn't matter. <laughs> you don't need to plug the tonight. <laughs> L O U I S C K dot com or dot net. All right, we're out of here. See you tomorrow. Bye. Moby and Anthony have left the building. But the ONA show continues. Sort of. After ONA Live is next. Serious.